best pop tart flavor got to be for a long time growing up yeah strawberry 100% it was well so th- but then i but then Trying that right now. Yeah, yeah. Trying that right now, that's better than strawberry. This is not better than strawberry. Cinnamon sugar is not. Because at least with strawberry, there is an illusion of breakfast there. (laughs) This is like so clearly a dessert. That's fair. But But then again, like whoever was like, oh yeah, Pop Tarts, the notorious breakfast food. Me. What? Yeah, but like, and advertising. I, 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 they're like you pop it in your thing, go to school, eat mm, it on the bus. Not to not to shame anybody, but yeah. if you're like, oh yeah, breakfast. Watch yourself. <laughs> like, you watch yourself right now. Let's, let's, let's unsheath this pop tart. <laughs> yeah. We gotta we gotta do a little bit of soul searching. That's you know what's even worse? It took me until I was eating pop tarts for breakfast from like fifth grade to eighth grade. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until ninth grade that I realized you're supposed to cook them. So I was just eating like cold. That's one of the only. I think I've. I think I've had two heated up pop tarts in my yeah. entire life. That was the second time. They bang. Gas. When they're hot. Yeah, it's absolutely. Really good. Yeah, I can understand why people actually yeah. heat them up. Uh, for audio only listeners, I'm eating the cinnamon one right now. Cinnamon mm-hmm. brown sugar, because uh, that's what Nick has available. Here. Well, that's like that's like my like keep Danny alive before the podcast. Like, because like he came here once, he raided my cupboards, and he was like, "Oh, you guys have pop tarts," and I was like, "Because <laughs> like one week." Dorothy was like, oh, I like I, let's have Pop Tarts in the house. And I was like, okay, let's do it. And then that was the one thing that Danny clamored on to. So yeah. now whenever we go to the grocery store, I make sure to buy Pop Tarts because <laughs> I'm like, Danny will eat them. And neither me nor Dorothy eat them. So I have food in my house specifically for Danny. Yeah, that's so funny. And I appreciate it. I mean, I'll go to Strawberry from now on. You don't have to I'm listen. Change. Make no more accommodations for mm-hmm. me. I just broke one of Nick's statues. <laughs> I am I am in the doghouse right now. Danny just booted my Jiraiya statue. I didn't even touch it. I swear I felt no contact. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, Jiraiya <laughs> fucking kills himself. <laughs> Jiraiya just jumps whole off of a ledge. Explode here. I'll, I'll grab it. Yeah. Uh, Oh. So he's, got, he's got one finger left. He's got his Jeez. pinky. He just has his pinky up. He looks ready to drink a nice fancy tea. Yeah, he just. God, it was so horrible. So things are tough. Things are tough in the Connor Dang household currently. His leg also <laughs> fell off. The worst part was when you're like, oh, he lost a finger. And I was like, uh-huh. And then I went to like have Nick put it in my hand. And I opened my hand and I had three <laughs> other <laughs> fingers in it. Filled with loose <laughs> fingers like a serial killer. Uh, I guess that's that's going to be one of our cold opens. My other cold open, which isn't like really a cold opening. It's like because it is yeah. it's anime adjacent. It's all one cold open if we don't close. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. you don't know who I am yet. You yeah. don't know who he is. You don't know yeah. who you're listening to. Um, big thing going on in my life right now. Somehow I've fallen back into Pokemon card reopenings. What? <laughs> I just like I. OK, so I have a very cyclical brain. Yeah. Every two years I play Minecraft for like three days. And then like every year or so I get re obsessed with watching people open Pokemon card packs. Mm-hmm. I like I love it. I don't know why I love it. And I don't understand how it works either, because here's the thing. All these people on TikTok, one, mm-hmm. you know, they have their like they have their camera facing like towards their hand or their opening packs and all that. And they're like shuffling like three yeah. to the back. And they're like, oh, shiny double rare right. V-Star Squantum Rayquaza. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't fucking I have <laughs> no idea. Like, I like Squantum. Uh, they've just been adding words yeah, to Pokemon yeah. cards. I thought it used to be like, oh, hollow. Yeah. Or double haul. Now, like, now it's like, oh, we got a triple rare VMAX yeah. Pikachu. I like, miss when it was just EX was the cool ones. Dude. Now it's like VMAX, Gigantamax, yeah. the terrestrialized ones. And then and then they're also like, oh, a speckle card. And it's like a, it's like a hollow, but there's just speckles of shiny on oh, it. Oh, reverse hollow. No, you, I thought reverse <laughs> hollow was when just the little picture was hollow. I think it's when everything but the picture is hollow. No, that... That's yes. hollow? But the, so the, no, hollow is the whole thing. Reverse okay. hollow is when, yeah, everything but the picture, yeah, yeah. there's a speckle now where oh. it's just like a bunch of dots around yeah. the entire card uh-huh. are shiny. Okay. And, and so now I, every time I see shiny, I'm like, but then they're like, this is fucking garbage. Yeah. And they toss it up and I'm like, I they're don't like, know. feed it to their dogs. Yeah, like, like, I don't know what, and then they're like, they'll pull out the most random yeah. card I've ever seen. They're like, big hits, big. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know anything anymore i'm so out of touch but i'm in these i'm in these live streams and it's like 20 people watching these like pokemon card openings and they're like oh the queue is open the queue is like make sure you want me to rip it or ship it (laughs) and i'm like are people buying yeah pokemon card packs yeah from people on live and then they're like no you open my cards yeah yeah. for live and then ship me the cards i know isn't that weird it's so weird it's very bizarre i have to assume where are they making money there I think the reason they do it, you must get a discount 
right? Because sometimes they buy them in like insane bulk. Well, no, I mean like yeah, so they buy them in insane bulk, Mm -hmm. and then because I did a card pack on opening once, and you buy them in like you call up the shop, and they're like. They're like, all right, well, for they start off like this. They're like, well, for seven eighty five, I could get you like a barrel of Pokemon cards. Yeah. And I'm like, no. So you you haggled? <laughs> get, yeah, I was like, well, I was like, get me a reasonable amount of Pokemon cards. Like, mm-hmm. what are you talking about? Not spending eight hundred dollars on Pokemon cards. Yeah, for like, <laughs> like, like I like back into my garage yeah. with a truck. Yeah, for like every pack in a tri state area. Yeah. Like, like and, we'll just go hold up every other store for like a yeah, grand if you want. Yeah. I got a gun in my hands right now. But it's like I have to assume if I'm like if you're doing a pack on opening, yeah, or unboxing rather, um, and. It, I'm paying, I'm a viewer, and I want to buy that pack from yeah. you. I have to assume that's a rare pack, like, that you can't buy easily. Mm-hmm. And ideally, I get thing. it cheaper. Every time we go to Best Buy, yeah. it's like packs on packs on packs. Yeah. And I'm like, they're everywhere. Well, they're sometimes in Target, they'll they're do in Walmart. Them, sometimes they'll unbox packs from, like, 2007. These that's, guys are just, like, they're opening, like. They're just the new ones. Like yeah. Gen 9. There was, like, yeah. like oh, there was, a, there was a guy who was, like, oh, this one's not even stores yet. I'm like, no, the fuck? you get it. yeah it's like you have 30 people watching you open t- mm. like packs on tiktok what store is selling you these i don't know i don't get why people buy packs to be opened by other people Crazy. risk having your thing get fucking demolished on the flight over you know what i just had it i had such a good idea oh what? my god so it's basically gambling right yeah, You're like, it's gambling. i'm gonna pay you mm-hmm. to open this pack and then like oh my god i got a i got a charizard you better send it first yeah. off you better send it to me that's the fucking <laughs> yeah. like what if you pull like a five thousand dollar card yeah. and it's like oh no the live cut like <laughs> yeah. i'd be out like yeah so like here's the idea you get a, you get a little sneaky like you know like the cameras that are in your glasses. In your glasses, you get yeah. like spy glasses, right? But yeah. instead of Pokemon cards, you go to a casino <laughs> and you're like, "Hey guys, the queue's open. A thousand dollars on black? Uh, Absolutely, I'll send it to you." And then you're just you're just gambling with other people's money. This is terrifying. Money. This is a terrifying idea. That would be so much. Have fun. Have you never seen like Twenty One? Have you never seen any of those movies where people just get fucking beat up by casinos because they have their own laws? Danny. That's the greatest idea I've ever had. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit. Because you know, illegal, like gambling is illegal so many places, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's, I walk into a Vegas casino mm-hmm. with like, you know, I got like 10 grand on me and yeah. chips, but like I only put these chips down when I get paid. Right. And someone's like, hey, put $20 on black yeah. or $20 on number 32 in roulette. Yeah. If it hits, send me the money. So I'm just, I'm gambling for free. Yeah. The rush is there. And sure, the winnings. The winnings go out to other people, but right. at the same time, I'm not losing any money, and I'm, I get to stay entertained you have for the hours. the fun of gambling. I'm so chronically afraid of getting beat up by casino but workers. But why would you? But why? I don't. Is I that think, illegal? I think they just do it. It's definitely I think you illegal. Can't film in a casino, and I also think you can't. Why wouldn't you be able to film in a casino? I don't think you can sell. God knows they do it. They have cameras everywhere. You'd be like a gambling drug dealer. Like, right, if, say you're in Ohio. You'd be gambling across state lines. Yeah, I don't think you can be a vessel for which people can gamble. No, that sounds, that sounds right. That sounds, <laughs> but here's the thing. It could be like a, it could be like a donation system. Oh, can it be? That, that, like, that thing is like, oh, like, oh, oh, $20, you know, whatever. Well, okay, you want it on uh, what, 32? That's a good, it'd be inspo. Yeah. Be like, you inspired me to bet $20 on 32. Yeah. And if it hits, here's... <laughs> Here's your inspo pay. You know, it's like, you're like, thanks for the inspo, bro. I'm just waiting for like us to end this pod. And you're like, all right, everybody, we were at Taku's Anonymous. I'm heading to Vegas this weekend. Catch me on the live. And then next Thursday, you're just like fat lipped. Like your eye is black. The Nevada Gambling Commission kicked the fucking <laughs> shit out of me. Just, just the whole podcast. We were <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> Interesting take there, Nick. Uh, how do you yeah. feel about six yeah. five men with brass knuckles on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so I'm Nick, and I'm apparently trying to commit gambling fraud. This like, is you talk synonymous. You're like trying to eat, like it's yeah. like a little like. Boop. Time for lunch. <laughs> like they have, they just, you just hear a like, blender in the background. Yeah, you just, yeah. You just you're like. <laughs> like as you sip your fucking blended burger, it's like it's like Kevin Spacey comes in, he's like comes in, and just like, takes my money out of my. <laughs> no, Kevin, please, my money. 
Oh, that's the worst thing Kevin Spacey's ever done, right, guys? Just kidding. He's a bad person. This is a talk who's anonymous. I'm NC Hammer 23, also known as the Weeb Commander. Uh, and I am joined here by Daniel Mata, mm-hmm. my incredible co-host, um, SAG AFTRA affiliate, you know, you know, as, I'm as, sorry. <laughs> as responsible as it gets. Uh mm-hmm. Danny, hello. How's it going? Oh, it's just so good. You know what? What I loved about the cold open? Uh uh-huh. the twist. That it turns out you had seen 21. <laughs> Absolutely, I've seen 21, yeah. <laughs> when you brought up Kevin Spacey, I was like, oh my God, all along. As somebody who lives within of like an hour of Boston, any yeah. movie that takes place in Boston, you have to see. I didn't know it did. They, they, they go to Harvard or MIT or one of the things. Yeah, I guess and so. so. they're like, oh, we're Harvard smart math people. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, you need to be Harvard smart math people to do simple addition. Yeah. <laughs> Counting cards, incredibly easy. It's just memory. It's just memory. Yeah. That's the end. You're just like, like, oh, that's a one. That's a two. Okay, cool. Yeah. You will get the shit kicked out of you. And in Vegas, they very much have face recognition. Like, you yeah. can do it in like the lesser casinos. That's you get off the strip a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. there's like a guy like chain smoking cigars in the corner, like, like actively, like, putting his mortgage yeah. into a slot machine. That's yeah. where you count cards, baby. I don't like that casinos can beat you up. Call me, call it controversial, but that's a law I'd like change. I, can they though? <laughs> I think so. I feel like that might be a popular, cause like. I think reservation ones can, cause they have their own laws. I guess, but yeah. like Vegas is in a reservation. I guess. No, it's just gambling's legal in Las Vegas or Nevada. Yeah. But who's gonna like, like the casino doesn't have the money to pay off the cops. I you guess. know, like. The thing is like, I, I feel like it's an assault charge. I mean, yeah, but I don't know. Right? I like, don't know. Hey, you beat the shit out of me yeah. <laughs> for playing a game. Like, I don't, because it's not illegal. It's not illegal to count cards. Yeah. Like, my, it's just. One of my biggest fears is going up to a cop and being like, he beat me up. And yeah. the cop going, so? Like, so <laughs> what were you doing? Did you deserve yeah. it? And you're yeah, like, you I, it? I don't think I did. Oh, pussy. <laughs> yeah, you fucking loser. Yeah. Yeah, no, but no, I think they just, I think they just ban you. I guess Because so. I've seen videos of dudes who count cards on TikTok. Oh, and really? And it's like, yeah, like, eventually, like, the floor boss will come over mm. and be like, you got to get out. But they'll, but they'll be like, good job. It's weird that they no can be it. like it's an it's an infinite money machine. Yeah, I saw what, people with ten thousand dollars because I was in Vegas for my birthday last weekend. Yeah, ten thousand dollars in a penny slot machine, Jeez. which is like a, a million. Yeah. It's like a million plays, and they're yeah, just yeah. chain smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I just like I don't know. It's weird. It's weird that like you could be kicked out for winning too much. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. That just seems rude. What's wild is if you lose too much, they give you a room. Yeah. Like, if, yeah. Like, if you, like, blow a bunch of money in Vegas, they're like, oh, yeah, here's a suite. Yeah. And you're like, okay, thanks. And they'll invite you back. Yeah. If you spend a lot of money at, like, Vegas casinos, they'll literally be like, here's a room. Come hang out. And it's like, oh, I'm that much of a fucking fool to you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just like, I am the, I'm the jester who comes in and throws money in slot <laughs> machines. Like, no, thank you. Um, I have a lot of things to talk about okay, this week, cool. though. Like, so many. Um, speaking of Vegas, yeah. I went to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. I spent that's, 5, that's 000. what we were speaking of. Mm-hmm. I bought myself a, a birthday present. Yeah? What'd you buy? Uh, a ring. A ring? A ring. For $5,000, were you about to say? Yes. What are you talking about? So, for those Nobody who- Nobody <laughs> lives the way you live. Do you realize that? Do you understand that, like- 15 minutes ago, you were railing into me for eating Pop-Tarts on my way to school <laughs> because I was a poor little boy. And now you're like, I bought myself a $5,000 ring. It was like 5300 after Show taxes. Me. How are you not wearing it I'll, right I'll now? I'll go get it right go now. Go get it. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, Don't uh, edit this out. I want everyone <laughs> to have to experience the weight it takes the, for Nick to go and get this stupid ring. The problem is, now that I've set the bar, you're looking at your like, this dumb ring for that cost. <laughs> like, it's like, there's no ring. Like, the point Pulling out a ring yeah. that looks like five thousand dollars is next to impossible. But, all right, fine, I'll go get it. Okay, go get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up the dead air. Stank can't cut this out. Um. Oh God. Oh fuck. Oh God, Nick. Nick, please come back. I can't do this. I can't do this, Nick. It's literally just you have to do a one. This is it. That's nice. <laughs> it's a snake ring. It's 18 karat gold. It's got diamonds on it. Wow. And it's from a Show company. Show it to a camera. Show it's it to from the company these. Bulgari, which is a very fancy jewelry company. And I've always wanted Bulgari jewelry. But Looks like it hurts. What? Looks hurt. It's ribbed. 
Yeah, well, it's, it's ribbed on the outside, not on the inside. Oh, it's a snake. Gotcha. It's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy has always wanted a, a, a bulgari bracelet, uh -huh. but I, I had to settle for this. So one day we'll match. But the bulgari bracelet is like $30,000. So we didn't get that. God. The guy tried to upsell us into it, though. He's like, you guys could match. And I was like, that's a Kia. Like, yeah, I, like, <laughs> I, like, I can't believe you bought a pinky ring in Vegas. What are you, a fucking mobster? It was my birthday. <laughs> you a fucking mafioso. It was my birthday. <laughs> well, well, happy birthday, I Nick. got my Myself something nice thank yeah, you yeah you sure did and uh there also um we're not going to talk about so a thing came out a lot of you know what the thing was um and i, I feel like we can say that yeah the you, that's the thing i'm glad you said that okay i hate that nobody understands and we won't name names okay. <laughs> Well, that was that was the pre-podcast rant. I hate Nick and I have been bitching about certain people certain for people. weeks. But, um, but I hate that people, both creators and the average person, don't understand like why influencers shouldn't talk about movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they'll be like, we'll have influencers come out and be like, so a certain like pirate thing came out, and you know I'm not going to talk about it because SAG strong. Buddy, I love it. But it's it was sick. so good. But I'm not talking about it, though. But boy, I can't wait to talk about it when the strikes end. It's like, it's not like, oh, don't say One Piece. Mm -hmm. Like, well, One Piece live action came out. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Don't be like, oh, I loved it. Go renew your Netflix subscription, blah, blah, blah. Literally. Like, that's the nuance of it. But yeah, One Piece came out. One Piece is live action came yeah, out. Yeah. We're not, we, both me and Danny are watching it, but we're not going to talk about it because we stand in solidarity with SAG AFTRA. Uh, but there was also very much a premiere of the first episode mm -hmm. in Santa Monica. Oh, I they didn't just even know. Like, they displayed it on the pier. Mm -hmm. They had a big old Jolly Roger on the Ferris wheel and Whoa. everything. Neither of us knew about it. <laughs> I, I got hit up by like I saw videos of it. I got, I got hit up by multiple like influencers who were like, "Oh, did you guys see that there was like a like a One Piece mm -hmm. premiere in yeah. Santa Monica?" And I was like, I, "I didn't get an email." Yeah, I. I didn't even know. Like, I haven't even seen videos. It's in it. my city. Yeah. It's in my. It's in, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Here. I hate to be that guy. I hate to. I hate to be that guy. No, you don't. I, I don't, but like <laughs> just, when, when it comes to anime content yeah. in LA, I don't think there's anyone bigger than me. I don't. I don't. <laughs> this, this is just like when Straw Hat Goofy got invited to the Demon Slayer mm -hmm. like premiere. You're like, bitch, hasn't seen the this show. guy hasn't yes. even seen the show. Yeah, I seen the show. And I was I like, oh, I am nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm shaking. I, I don't understand. It's all connections mm -hmm. is the thing. Because I also like don't care they're just fun to go to and yeah. also that's one of those things that it's like i would have made content i wouldn't have made content yeah, yeah. on the fact that i had gone i still would like sounded kind of cool yeah sounded yeah. like a cool experience yeah it's like it's weird because not you know i hate to be this guy yeah i'd like to think i'm also one of the bigger tiktok anime content creators in and a city. million views yeah in yeah. the city like it's no emails ever mm -hmm. except from raid shadow legends or ants I, or ants. Ants. <laughs> I get ant game ads all the time. Oh, no, it's a crab. Oh, wait, <laughs> we gave him a fruit. He's on our side. Dude, do you guys get these ads? Because no one else does. I get ads from multiple ant-based games. I'm like a thousand percent sure you exist in a separate dimension than I do. <laughs> and like, it's genuinely like, like, have you seen this? And it's the most unhinged, like, cringeworthy <laughs> thing I've ever seen. I show Nick, it's like an ad where like some fake influencers at the top. And he's like, he's like, are uh, those real? Do you think those are like, you think they're I like think plants? It also are they industry plants? So- yeah, I think half of them are. Because I've never like seen one of those ads where it's like, oh my God, uh, base wars. Uh, I, like, <laughs> it's like the ones where like the countries, like you yeah. like, control a country. It's like, I'm about to invade France or something. Yeah. And it's like, I've never seen your Facebook. Yeah, before. here's the thing. I would think that they're all plants mm -hmm. if Jose didn't do them. <laughs> so TikTok lets you, it'll be like, this game wants an ad made. So I, Please explain it, yeah. So, for I bet a lot of people don't know this, but TikTok will be like, this game wants an ad made. Um, if you upload a video and it gets approved by them, you will make, like, bonus money. Like, yeah. you will make, like, up to this amount, and it'll be like, there's $13,000 to give to influencers. Yeah. Like, you can get some of that thirteen grand. But the thing about it is it goes up, like, on your page. Yep. And... 
Sometimes you don't even get approved. Nope. So it's like borderline free it's advertising. Free ad. Yeah, it's a free ad. I've never done it because the, the minute I saw that, they're like, oh, if you get an X amount of views, you'll get paid. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, fuck you. What? No. no. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh, like, I'm not going to sit down, film an entire video, edit it, and be like, here you go, Top War. <laughs> Fucking like, th that's that's it. That's the one. It's Top War. I love Top War. Oh, my God. I love God. Top War ads, Dude, not the so game. Dude, they're so funny. Mm -hmm. But like, that's the thing is like, I just like see these people and I'm like, I've never heard of you. Yeah. And all of them, and here's the thing. I feel like I do really good ad reads. Yeah. I feel like I do really, I'm like, hello, fresh. Fucking cook it. <laughs> cook it. Put it in your fucking mouth. I'm so yeah, manic you're, today. You're really the Terry Terry Cruz of HelloFresh. That's ads, me, dude. Yeah. I'm like I'm like flexing my packs yeah. and like I feel like I keep getting renewed, but like I'm not like, yeah. hey guys, um, have you guys heard of meal kit delivery service? Like it just feels like an AI created a human being and was like, hey, here's a here's a mobile game. I love the ant ones. I love that it's like so bad. It's like all right, just got my group of ants. Oh, look at them tear apart the spider. Oh, yeah. oh but they're going to lose against the crab. Dang it. Well, maybe if I level them up a little and then it, they tear the crab apart. It's you do that bafflingly well. <laughs> yeah. I get you did that all really well. I get all <laughs> that was like a one to one impersonation of the one that we saw. It's so funny. I like, I get. But the point is, I get contacted by so few ads that this morning I emailed Honkai Star Rail, like, and I was like, I was like, I like your product. Can <laughs> I, I like, just want money. I was like, listen, I did a Genshin ad. Mm. I don't care for Genshin. I like this game. Yeah. Let me pay me for integrity, please. Like, please, like I'm like doing it. For, you're doing it for <laughs> yeah. free already. You yeah. sold it. You gave yeah. away for free yeah, what you could have earned. You're money. welcome. Yo yeah, yeah, it's fucking yo ho, ho yo verse. <laughs> yo ho. Yo fucking yo, yo, yo hoes. Yo verse. Um, but yeah, so me and Danny aren't going to be talking about it. But at the end of the day, we weren't even invited to the premiere. So yeah, we weren't going to talk so about it anyways. It sucks. Yeah, fucking garbage. Yeah. Garbage ass TV show. Wild they dropped all eight episodes though. I guess that's Netflix like typical. Do you prefer that? Because right, I don't here's know thing. with the podcast yeah. now, yeah. I don't prefer it. Yeah, like if we dropped the entirety of JJK season and I had to be like, oh, because there's things like, oh, I'll either watch the whole thing and we'll break down the entire fucking season, yeah. or I'll be like, oh, we'll do four episodes and then and then I'm like, I'm behind. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like now I'm behind all like the, the content wave. That's welcome to me reacting to shit. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, I like no, I do like when things come out like weekly yeah. because it keeps like the talk alive and i hate like being on tiktok and seeing like right because like if a new show comes out like one piece all eight episodes i hate like hopping on tiktok this morning there's like a scene from episode seven playing and i'm like how'd you even get there yeah i was like fucking give me a chance to keep up yeah. or to catch up and it's like how'd you get there Probably just skip to Arlong. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're like I don't fucking skip. need to see Romance Dawn or yeah. Roach Town. Like, like yeah. people just skip to shit and be like, especially with it being an adaptation, like they can just be like, oh, this is the blank episode. Yeah. Just skip to it and like put up a whole fight. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? Yeah. Guys, I had no chance. You like it's it's what's terrible about my current life is that like <laughs> yeah. life is hard. Yeah, tell life me how is hard your life really is. tough. As I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, like, I you're struggle. Blinding me I with struggle the too. The glint of your ring. Um so what's weird is that like I've gotten like weirdly into like manga circles. Like I've like now I do like a lot of manga reactions. I try to keep up to date with manga, but the problem On is TikTok or YouTube? Kind of more YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. it's like mostly I talk about Boruto and like, I just also like to be like up on date on things. Like I talk about JJK's manga a lot. Right. But the problem is like Shonen Jump comes out in Japan like four days before we get English. Right. So the thing is there's three days between English and an additional upload in Japan. So by the time that I get around to reading the chapter in English, which is like a day after it's done, yeah. I'm two days away from the next chapter being leaked in Japanese. Yeah. Now, half of my TikTok outside of Pokemon card Rio, like openings, <laughs> is just being like JJK chapter, I don't know, 230 spoilers. Yeah. yeah. It sucks. No, that's tough. It sucks, especially because you do have to like, keep up with it as yeah. a content creator and Absolutely. be like, if there's leaks, you need to report it. Yeah. So you can't even just be like, Oh, like, Oh my God, I got to like, I got grilled because I did a video showing like gear five Luffy and people were like, some of us are trying to fucking avoid what he looks like. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He was, like, he was like the poster child of anime expo. Literally. Year like, five Luke. Like you went to like, anime expo and you're like, no, like, like yeah, what? like, what do you mean? How have you not seen it? Like, 
It's very strange. That's so funny to me because, like, like clearly the animation studios don't even give a shit. Yeah. Why should I? Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, Viz was like, hey, here's what Gear 5 Luffy looks like. And it's like, all right, how is, I, I guess I, I want, I understand wanting to be like, oh, the first time I see it is either in the manga yeah. or the anime. But at the same time, we live in this, it, like, you're on TikTok. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. If you don't want spoilers, like, just, like, don't interact with anime content It's or also just, like, w- like, it's one piece. It's going to be impossible. Yeah. It's not like... I don't know. Like, if you're not caught up with One Piece, you kind of just have to accept that you're going to get spoiled along the way. Like, it's not fair to the rest of the world to assume they're going to keep you spoiler free for One Piece. What's wild, though, is that the One Piece fandom is actually doing a pretty good job at it because we're now in, I don't even know what arc we're in, like what it's called right now, but it was like after Wano, there's like a short little arc, like a Sabaody archipelago, like, like a post, like, like a post Marine yeah. Ford arc where they go to Egghead Island mm-hmm. and they meet. Um, I think they finally reveal the um, uh, the famous professor whose name I'm kind of spacing on right now. Um, but like it's like and so like the One Piece community has done a really good job of not like not showing people what mm-hmm. that looks like. Like not to, like, I don't even know what happens in Egghead Island arc. Yeah. I don't even know what the arc after that is called. Mm-hmm. Like it's so like the One Piece like I I am apparently just out of the manga circle because like I'm not getting spoilers whatsoever. Yeah. But like it seems like what's going on is absolutely insane. Nice. Yeah. So do like, you do you have a versions? to different islands based on their names. So hear me out. Okay. I, knowing that there's like Full Cake Island, Whole right? Full Cake Island. Whole Cake Island. Close. And Egghead Island. Yeah. For some reason, like, the like, elitist part of my head is like, God, those are gonna suck because their names are dumb. Gotcha. I'm like, God, I don't want to get to Whole Cake Island. Like, the, and I hear it's a good one. It's, yeah, many yeah. people think it's the second best arc in the new, like, is, the yeah, post-time skip. Is it, like, skip. your favorite? Like It's not my favorite. My oh, favorite, gotcha. well, post-time skip, it is my favorite, I'd say. Yeah. Dress Rosa's really good, mm-hmm. but the problem is the pacing is awful. I, if, if I had watched Dress Rosa in one pace, it would probably be my favorite arc. Yeah. Because, like, everything about it is really fun and interesting, but, like, halfway through it, it just trips. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, like, we're going to drag everything on for way too long. Whole Cake Island, I'm now watching in one pace, so I have a different relationship with it than I do every other piece of one piece. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's kind of, like, my whole thing is, like, I can't really compare the two, but apparently Wano is the best arc, and then, like, people think, like, Whole Cake Island and then Dress Rosa. But, like, those are back-to-back-to-back, so it's, like, right. Things got really good, but like, I don't know. I think my favorite arc of all time is Sabaody Archipelago. Gotcha, gotcha. So what's a what's a good island name then? Like, like um, what's a desert one? Oh, Alabasta. Like Alabasta, just the name of a place. That's like, fair. Ju- just a country sounding name. That's like, fair. Yeah. Um, Arlong Park's fine. Mm-hmm. Thriller Bark, I hated for a while. And Inter- I haven't gotten to it. I'm in Skypea still, but like Thriller mm-hmm. Bark, I'm like, what? Like I thought for a long time people were making fun of it or something like mm-hmm. it involved a dog and it was actually called thriller park. And people, I thought it was like people were punning it. Gotcha. There was another one like that. Like name some that you haven't already. Uh, I mean, there's punk hazard there. Punk hazards, dumb Saba Odie archipelago. Yes. Yeah, Sa- Saba Odie. I yep. was like, because I read it and I was like, Saba doy. Saba doy. Yeah. And I was like, what is, it? and then people said it out loud and I was like, oh, that is the name. Mm-hmm. But it's like, for some, like my brain is just like, oh, whole cake Island. That's going to be dumb. It I'm is- sure it won't be like, I'm sure I'll enjoy it uh-huh. rather. Cause one piece is dumb, but good. Yeah. That's kind of um, the whole thing. Yeah. Like, it's just like, all right, this is not what would happen. This is not how anybody would react. <laughs> yeah. And like, why is that woman made out of cake? It's like yeah. in a whole cake Island right now. Like there's just like talking trees oh, yeah. and they're called the homies. And you just, <laughs> nice. have, you just have to, you have to turn your brain off. And just you're the like, homies. They're literally like, it's like everything can talk and it's yeah. just called the homies. That's and you're like, that's life. Yeah. It's the life I deal with right now. Yeah, that's yeah. one piece. But before we head any further with the pod guys today, I want to talk to you about our favorite sponsor. Factor. See, Factor understands that we're heading into the busy season with the closing days of summer. And therefore, Factor wants to make sure that you are saving time for yourself to do all the things that you love now in the dog days of summer. So, Factor wants to make sure that every single day you're not doing things like waiting in line or going to the grocery store, but instead living a healthy, convenient, and time rich life. And you can achieve that with Factor because instead of sitting in a grocery store, store and trying to figure out what you're going to cook tonight factor offers you fresh never frozen dietitian approved meals that only require you throw a meal in the microwave for two minutes and then 
breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want it, that meal is taken care of. That's right. Instead of going to the grocery store or dragging your kids to the grocery store to come with you and making some hassle about them wanting chocolate bars and you needing broccoli, all you need to do is trust factor to hook you up with dietitian approved mostly 550 calorie and under meals that not only make sure that your time is saved but also that you're preserving the level of flavor that you deserve and factor will never make you feel like you don't have an option because every single week factor offers you 34 plus options to order for the week all of which are dietitian approved healthy and packed with flavor and all of those meals are delivered directly to your door bringing convenience and sustenance directly to you so what are you guys waiting for head to factor me Meals.com slash Utaku's 50 to get 50% off your order today. That is factormeals.com slash Utaku's 50 to get 50% off your meals today. It's time to save time, eat well, and enjoy our lives. Ah, uh, should we talk about JJK? Yeah. Did you react to it? I didn't react to it because oh. they've been coming at me copyright wise, mm. which is hype because I'm just going to stop reacting to it. Really? So it's nice to just pop it on and watch it. Yeah. Um, it's not work anymore. You're like, I physically yeah. cannot. Having like an excuse that's not your fault that gets you out of work. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm not in control of it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Any like any newer anime has been tough. So I'm just sticking to like old anime in terms yeah. of reacting. Um, like good Zom thing 100. there's like, there's some. Yeah. Good thing it's most anime. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, watched I watched it. Um, it's slower well okay the it's, thing a, is, it's a linker it's like a connecting yeah like, exactly yeah, it's yeah. the ant-man quantumania of jjk <laughs> damn yeah it's it is it's a it's a setup episode yeah the, yeah i i genuinely forgot how funny the show could be though like obviously gojo and ghetto have really funny moments like the first episode of hidden inventory is like kind of like them like fucking around right it's like oh they're playing basketball they're arguing but at the same time like this one did straight up just have like it happened everything that happened happened in the manga like mm -hmm. all of that happens like the whole human earthworm thing happens in the manga yeah none of that was in addition um the whole like itadori meets like a girl that has a crush on him thing all happens yeah uh and she never comes back oh think, no yeah i think she's like i don't i don't think it's not like she dies i just like i don't remember if she ever pops back up in the manga that sucks yeah if that's true. I mean, the manga's not over. Like, there, there could be, like, a moment where, like, she at the end. She better. Otherwise, what a waste of, like, seven minutes. Yeah. Like. Well, I think it's, like, more to be, like, oh, look how cute Megami and Itadori and Nobara are together. Like, oh, friendship. And I then, guess like, so. before we get into what is objectively, like, the darkest, one of the yeah. darker arcs in anime. Interesting. I mean, I liked. Well, so it's funny you talk about how, like, you mm. forgot how funny it was. Yeah. Because I've never thought Jujutsu Kaisen is funny. Gotcha. Like, I don't like the humor. Mm -hmm. I liked this one mm -hmm. because it starts off with the earthworm thing mm -hmm. and it's starting and i was like god this is dumb like i hate this show's comedy yeah and it keeps going the bit the, the it, commitment to the bit is crazy it goes on for quite some time yeah. and the longer it goes on the funnier it is yeah and then i found myself like actually laughing and like, like them, oh, like, this is bashing good. the human earthworm's <laughs> brains in. And it's and like kids. kids show up. Like, <laughs> I was like, what is this? Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, I did find this episode funny. And then the stuff with the girl is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Here's what's whack about it. Okay. Her, when she's fat, mm -hmm. looks nothing like her when she loses different weight. Different bone structure, different god. Di different human, different yeah. hair, different hairstyle, like... Mm -hmm. Just make her, like, what are you doing? Just, like, yeah, just, just change her a little. If that's what you're going for, she's yeah. like, oh, I grew 15 centimeters, which yeah, is six okay. inches. It's yeah. actually is a significant amount of growth. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, I also, like, the stress of moving made me lose weight. And it was like, the stress yeah. of moving <laughs> changed you. Like, yeah. like, you are a different person entirely. Yeah, all, all of her has changed, yeah. which was, like, weird and annoying, just mm -hmm. in terms of, like, just especially if you're gonna do this, like, Itadori's, like, Oh, you know, like, I don't care that she's fat. I like her personality. And then, yeah. like, she's like, oh, he won't talk to me because I'm fat. And then she's like, oh, wait, I'm thinking, like, the people I hate. Like, yeah. I shouldn't use it. It's like a very, like, anti-fat shaming little bit. Mm -hmm. If you're doing an anti-fat shaming thing, 
Don't be like, oh, when she lost weight, she became like the hottest looking girl on earth. That like was, that was the thing. And I was I was struggling with like the actual like what is the message we're trying to send home here? Cause she's like, I now have the confidence now that I look this way mm-hmm. to talk to him. And I was like, I understand that. I understand the journey. But at the same time, like obviously Itadori is like, like I find like I like the way that she eats and I like the way that she writes. Like she's very yeah. prim and proper. And then like her, mm-hmm. his friends are like, oh, but like, don't you like tall chicks and all this yeah. kind of thing? And I'm like, I was like, it's so weird because at the same time, like, it's not Itadori saying that, like, she needs to be X so he can, like, be with her. It's her saying that. So, like, it's, like, not the problem, but it's, like, the take-home message is, like, she now feels as though she can be with the person now that she doesn't look the way that she used to. Yeah. And I'm like... I, it was it was You're a very so close. It was know? a moral gray. It was like right yeah. there where I'm like, yes, we've established the fact that like Itadori is the good like the good person who sees beyond yeah. the physicality and is like, I'm attracted to this person's personality. Yeah. But the take home theme here is like, not until she's hot does she get to yeah. talk to him. Not and until I, she's thin does she become hot, and not until she's hot can she speak to him. Exactly. Like, it's like yeah, just like make her look the same, like give her the same hair and stuff so she looks like the same human. Yeah. Make her like a little thick. Yeah. Or you know, like he, each story likes tall women with big butts. Yeah, it's like, like all right, like she can, like she can be thick. Yeah, you know, like, like, like what are we doing here? She just is like, a, like looks like Nobara, like mm. body wise, and then different hair. I loved, loved though Nobara <laughs> being like, she was like, oh, are you interested in Nobara? And like the establishment that like Nobara and each story are like incredibly platonic. Yeah, thank and God. I, I love that, and it's mm. it's been a trend recently where like. Like usually like back in the day with Naruto, you know, and like Bleach and all those, like people still ship Nami and, and yeah. Luffy. Like a good amount of people don't ship anybody in the Straw Hat crew yeah. because they're like, it just like, it feels like a big family and shipping them feels wrong. They don't really have like romantic chemistry. No. I wish Sanji would chill the fuck out, but <clears throat> seemingly so does the rest of the fan base. Yeah. Every like Sanji used yeah. to be a lot of people's favorite character. And then they were like, so Sanji's backstory is fucking devastating. Yeah. I'm I learning, know you just got to I'm it. I'm learning it in Whole Cake yeah. Island. Like, don't think, tell me. You think, you know, yeah, like yeah. it, like, because of the Bratier, and yeah. then like you realize there was more that happened before the Bratier. Right? It's fucking like he's a good character, yeah. but like he just he like he is the the symbol of this outdated trope. And so like now everyone's like, ah, oh, like you're just so yeah. exhausting. Yeah. Like it's like especially because like he's like constantly attracted to younger women, and like not even like younger women, like tall night younger yeah, women. Yeah. Did you? Are you on that side of TikTok? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Let's yeah. fucking. <laughs> We finally share something. you, you made a video about Tall Knight. I made a video about diversifying your income is oh, what is I did. Oh, that what you did? Yeah. Did you not watch the whole video? <laughs> no, I didn't watch the whole video. I was like, ooh, what's the drama he's talking about? Uh-huh, that's fair. And anytime someone stitches drama, it's like the biggest deterrent to get me to watch your video because mm-hmm. I'll just watch the drama one they're talking about. That's fair, genuinely. I've also been getting into drama talk recently and I'm, <laughs> no. I'm listen, there's been so many people getting canceled recently, yeah. but I feel like that, I feel like that I'm only now realizing that because I'm now like my FIP is like, look at people are getting canceled. Yeah, yeah. I kind of love watching it. <laughs> it. It started because I sent you Bentelect. That's, that, that probably that's is what it is. Fun. I that do, was a fun one. I just love a downfall, man. I'm so <laughs> I know you do. I love, I, I'm a, a I'm a hater at heart. I like when someone I already hate yeah. for no reason gives me a reason. Oh, that yeah. makes me happy. Like Bentelect, I was like, this is weird, like annoying content. But like, if it works, what? like, you know, what? who am I to stand in front of free, like easy money for yeah. him? And then he's like a lunatic. Yeah. He's like a crazy person. Absolutely insane. And then I'm like, whoa, look at this. I actively root for the downfall of everybody whose content is either doing oh it's just like it's like <laughs> pointing it's like it's like, like i thought you like took a facetime call yeah. like, hey can i call you back ma yeah, yeah sorry yeah. i'm doing something yeah. important Do, so yeah verbalize it for our audio yeah. only yeah. so when somebody like when somebody's like entire like content career is just like them like filming and then they're like they hold their face and they point up at a thing and it's like a tweet and they're like they just like like open their mouth and wave their hands they're like wah wah or if your entire career like bentelec is yo a shrimp fried this rice. <laughs> I fuck every time I see it. I'm like the gun gets closer to my head. Yeah, because I'm like I had to write a script this morning. Yeah, I was like I had to I had to sit down and film for two hours, and your entire morning was just like making yeah. a shocked face in between like super cuts of people almost getting hit by cars. Yeah. Just like, <gasps> did you see he did a video that was like it was like people keep asking me why I'm single, and honestly. It's just because I'm so fucking goofy. And then he did like a little silly quirk boy dance. 
<laughs> and everyone's like, no, it's because you harass women. Yeah, it's because every OnlyFans about? model you've ever met, you're like, hey, you want to make a video? Yeah, like, you, me, a camera? Yeah, you, me, my penis. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> he wants his dick on camera so badly. Just make an OnlyFans, my I, guy. Th- that's the thing. Yeah, just like, fuck a woman. Just literally <laughs> camera. Fuck, like you, oh, my God. It's so insane. It's so insane. Anyway, like, if you want to be naked on camera, you can do it. It's free. Yeah. Open your camera. Get, get You'll a, get paid. Yeah. Okay, it's re- it's reverse out. free. If 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 like I bet you like you, he had what like eleven million followers on TikTok, mm-hmm. a thousand of them at least are mm-hmm. gonna be like this would be funny to fucking buy. That's in five dollars. There's five grand a month for you. Yeah. You know, post like what did what did uh Mark Mark Pillier is that how you say that? Mark Pillier, Mark Plier, Mark Plil. You're doing this on purpose. Genuinely, no, I don't, not genuinely. I. Right hand to God, right? Like on Dorothy, Wagyu and Neutron. I do not know how to say it. Markiplier? <laughs> yeah. Mar- yeah, it's Markiplier. Is it Mark Pl- Markiplier? It's Markiplier. It, is it actually Markiplier? <laughs> yeah. You're fucking with me. I know you're fucking with me. Go on. What is it? Markiplier. I feel like I said that one of the times. You said that the most recent time. Markiplier. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a bad name. Don't wince. What it, are you talking about? It's kind of a bad name. It's as bad as any name. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, but like, at least you read mine and you're like, oh, NC Hammer. Fuck, is it Markiplier? Yeah, Nick, I guess objectively you read your name and you go NC Hammer. Yeah. Objectively, that has to happen. When no one looks at my name is like. Uh, like I don't think like, I don't know. I, I just realized I just the realized, true mark you, of a good name. I realize if you fuck up saying my name, you can get really close to some bad <laughs> words. <laughs> because because my email, my business email is Nick. Uh, it's like oh, it's Nick C Comedy at yeah. Gmail dot com. Yeah. Oh wait, no, 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 no. My my actual email, my personal no, sorry, email. It's the N word written out in full. Dude, the problem is my personal email. Sometimes, like if you like are logging in, it'll like blot out the middle, so it'll be the first letter and the last two letters. Yeah. So it's like N star 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 star, star, star and then E R. And I'm oh, like, no. this looks bad. Every time I was logging into Twitch, I was like, please. Oh my god, Josh. <laughs> yeah. My roommate Josh. We were in this quick tangent. We were in a like, what, buddy. We were talking about. I don't even remember what we were talking about. I have to say it's a quick tangent because we haven't talked about anime in like a half hour. <laughs> Um, we, I was in like a zoom class, yeah. uh, with my roommate, Josh, back when we were in college. And this was when like the COVID just hit, you yeah. know, the COVID, the uh, COVID, it yeah. like just hit. And like zoom was this like kind of new thing. Everyone was like fucking around with the backgrounds and stuff and mm. having fun. And Josh, who is white, which is important to the story. <laughs> yeah. Um, he, worked on a commercial for this product called Sani Grip, which is like a toilet seat with a handle. So you don't have to like touch the toilet seat. Okay. And I guess like potentially touch like pee. Okay. (laughs) I feel like a handle next to a toilet seat, just as dirty as the toilet seat. Have you ever heard of Sani Grip? No. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) So it's this handle toilet seat. Yeah. Um, And it was apparently booming in the like, in the porta potty market. Like porta potties loved it. But anyway, so Josh had just worked for that and he like made the logo. Uh, And like, and you know, it was this big meme in our house. And so we're on Zoom and he like, we're in the middle of like class and all of a sudden his background changes. And behind him, it just says like N I G, and then he's covering like the rest, and then there's like an R next to his head. Oh, no. and, he's, and I'm like, I like go white, and he's like, he's like smirking, like because he's like, uh, like to me, and I like text him, and I was like, what the fuck are you, are you doing, doing right now? And he doesn't see it, and I like run into his room, and I just slam. <laughs> And he was like, what? And I was like, what was your background? He was like, it was Sandy Grip. And I was like, Sandy Grip? (laughs) What do you mean? I was like, Josh. (laughs) Be present, Josh. God damn it. Oh, my God. He had to send an email. Like, no one said anything. He was like, it's coming to my attention that um, I accidentally posted an inappropriate uh, background. And he like 
did the picture yeah. of like what it was supposed oh, to be. Oh, that'd be the, the, the top of the email. Yeah. It'd be like this. Yeah. It, it just like cropped it in, yeah. but it was like horrifying. Oh, that's so fucking <laughs> funny. How did we get here? What was I talking about? I have no idea. We, we, we got some Mark Plyer. How did we get? Did you do Kaisen somehow? Yeah, but like, how did the we friend, get? Some... Um, it was cute seeing oh. them be friends. They're platonic. Oh. No one ships the Straw Hat team. That's what we there were doing. We Let's get back. Some people ship Robin and Frankie and that's it. Oh, weird. Yeah, so like people ship Robin and Frankie because they're like they're like the adults of the crew, mm -hmm. and like because like Robin's like thirty two post time skipper, something like thirty five, something like that. I don't know how old yeah. Frankie is, but like they're the only people who don't have like a brother or sister relationship. Like people like like Luffy and Nami just feel like like brother and sister, but like everybody obviously like in the early days of Naruto, everyone was like, oh, Sasuke or not like Sasuke or Sakura or Naruto or Sakura. Like, yeah. If there was a guy and a girl on the same team, they had to be shipped eventually. Yeah. And like I guess Naruto kind of broke the mold because like Naruto ends up with Hinata, but then Sasuke ends up with Sakura. It's not like they were gonna like share her, you know? Yeah. yeah. So like at the end of the day, but like modern day anime has like done a really good job of straying from that because there's power in Denji, whose like relationship doesn't start platonic. Like it's like obviously like Denji's like trying to do things to like touch power's yeah. boobs. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like their relationship becomes yeah. very much like, yeah, like after that, it's very because like, that's platonic. how you start every, you know, yeah. friend relationship. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, I groped you in a bathroom. Yeah, I love that scene, though, mm -hmm. for that reason. Her padding falling out. Well, I like it's silly that she has padding yeah. as a demon, but whatever. That is especially mm -hmm. when like she doesn't care about a lot of yeah. things. But I think it's probably to humanize her. I yeah, I like I like it because it humanizes her. I like that. They're just like, oh, she has like. A or B sized tits, yeah. like as an anime female, like mm -hmm. lead character. I'm like, nice. Yeah. Um, realistic. Yeah. Realistic. And then I love that. It's this. You know what? Everyone. Chainsaw Man. Very realistic. I think he knows like fucking titted up. I don't know about titted up. I think so. I, a D's at best. Oh, oh, like a D cup isn't titted up. I have up. a friend with G cups, Daniel. Okay, but just because, like, like if I was like, hey, my dick is eight inches long, and you're like, I've seen 13. Well, the thing you is- You wouldn't be like, oh, that's a small dick. Listen, all, be all boobs are gorgeous. All of uh -huh. them. I'm actually, I, I, love, I love a smaller boob personally. Yeah. What I'm saying is, on a grand anime scale, yeah. one character having maybe D cups- that's progress. I guess that's, so. listen, for the small, for the itty bitty titty committee, rise that's, up. That's this is, that's <laughs> big progress. Yeah, like us being the champions. Yeah. I mean, them. like Makima's like thick, but yeah. like she's not like you know pouring. Makima's out. not crazy, but I think Himino is like the thickest. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, you, pl please keep going on the diatribe uh -huh. that you were going on. I'm yeah, please make sure you show me your results. Himino. By the way, Himino <laughs> <laughs> caked up and thick. <laughs> like, Oiled up yeah. and also thick. Even yeah. though. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. Huge boobs. That's not, ginormous tits. I like. Uh, she's uh, wearing like a button-up shirt. Okay. All right. It's not all like right. she's wearing like Nami's shirt. I mean, okay. Here's the thing. There's the scene where she where she gets Denji in bed, right? Yeah. And then that and that scene, uh, Denji. She, yeah, she's in underwear. Himeno Denji bed. Oh, <laughs> save searches off. Let's go, baby. You gotta get that out of there. Let's go. Come on, Nick. What are you, an amateur? Safe search is <laughs> off. I don't know why I was ever on to begin with. I'm not getting any. Okay. All right. Here. I think that's. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, oh, that's Stop that's looking art. at it that's for so long. Art. That's fully <laughs> fan art. Um, that's, uh -huh. That feels. feels it, like, listen, they're big, but they're not unrealistic. It's, it's like a manga panel he's showing me that I, is like hard to tell. Oh, listen, I'm sorry. Safe search is L fucking me up here. Listen, anyway. Okay. Um. I like that scene because she's like, I like that he touches them and he's like, that's it? Like, that's what touching a boob was? Yeah. And that's, like grabbing a bag of sand. Yeah, like, that's great that that is like. Sad she didn't get that 40-year-old virgin reference. Oh, I got like 30 minutes in that movie. You didn't finish it? I don't like it. One of the greats. <laughs> yeah. I um, but no, like that's when like everyone's like, oh, D Denji's such a simplistic character. His motivation's dumb and stuff. Like, that is some of the like subtle nuanced like character development he goes through where he's like oh that is nothing like mm -hmm. that and then he's like will every goal i chase be that disappointing and then makimo manipulates him into being like no you want intimacy you yeah. don't want just boobs which is like even though she's manipulating him good message it's accurate fair message yeah and i like that like i also like that he touches her tits and it is just a like Oh, we're friends now. Yeah. You know, it's not like a weird, like it doesn't have to turn into a fucking friends episode. Yeah. Of like, oh, I hear you guys. Blah, blah. It's just like, 
okay, that was that. Like, I think that's so fun. But at the same time, Denji and Power's, like, friendship is, like, like obvious. It's awesome. It's like yeah, they're taking baths together, they're, like, washing each other's backs. Yeah. Power goes through really bad PTSD in the manga, and, like, Denji is the only person who can get her through it. That's and, hype. like, it's, like, a really cool, like, watching their relationship, like, where they're, like, very dependent, like, like Power becomes very dependent on Denji, and it's, like, very humanizing. And, oh, like, the thing great. is, it's similar in JJK, where, like, Nobara in Itadori is, like, incredibly platonic. Yeah. And I love that. And I, I love that we're moving in that modern direction of like, hey, women and men can coexist without yeah. fucking. I like it too. I was thinking about that today too mm -hmm. with like, in regards to Naruto, where yeah, Naruto has a stint where he's like in love with Sakura. It's a stint. It's like until like episode 200 of Shippuden. He's, yeah, he's got like an entire lifeline where yeah. he's like, or yeah. a lifetime of loving Sakura. But like, I, lo I always appreciated that Naruto had him date not, like Sakura. Yeah. Like I like that he dated like a side character mm -hmm. and that's like how well, I was thinking about that with JJK where it's like, Oh, I wouldn't mind. Like, I don't need Yuji to have a love interest ever. Oh mm -hmm. my God. Ever. But I wouldn't mind if it was this chick, if it was Nobara, mm -hmm. I'd be annoyed because fuck off. Like yeah. whatever. I wouldn't mind if Nobara and Megumi, Megumi got together just because it's like, what like that's different. I see it more than I see her with each story for yeah. sure. Especially when she's like, I'm gonna call Megumi and ask if he has a girlfriend. That yeah. was fun. I liked that. I liked them like and I liked him showing up and being like not just like, ugh, I don't have time for this. He was like, oh, it's like that, though. So what's really funny is that they do, uh, there's like, in the first season, they did like post scene, like like post like episode yeah, scenes. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the one where like uh, Gojo, Megami, or Gojo, Itadori, and Nobara think that Megami's being hit on. Yeah. So like Nobara and uh, Itadori go and like they're talking to him. And they're like, Megami, why have you cheated on me? And then Gojo shows <laughs> yeah. up with like his like jacket over his shoulder, like all elegant. <laughs> like, I, JJK has always been very underratedly funny to me. Uh -huh. And also like, obviously the ending, like the thing that people are going to want to talk about from the episode is it ending with Mechamaru versus Mahito. Yeah. How did you feel about that? It was fun. Okay. Where's this guy getting this, these fucking funds? What do you mean? Mechamaru. Do you want me to explain it? Oh, is it explained? So, was it explained already? It's explained in the manga. Then don't. Well, it's not explained in the anime. They've well, already they've already blown past where like when they would have explained it. I guess he can. So spoilers for manga potentially. I yeah maybe. I, yeah. I, I, like I, I, I'm hazy I just on have it. to say it. It's not really a spoiler. Yeah, but yeah. like so Mechamaru like obviously he's like super. We went over like heavenly restriction yeah, right. Yeah. So like he's like he was born without like one of his arms or yeah, one of his yeah. legs. He's got glass bones and paper skin. He yeah, died yeah. from SpongeBob. Yeah. Uh, but because he was born with such a weak body, he has an insane amount of cursed energy. Right. So that's why he's able to control puppets like multiple yeah. puppets all across Japan. So they say all of that. But so for the last couple of like for his entire lifetime, basically for the last couple of years, he's been storing cursed energy right. in like cursed energy pots. Yeah, I don't really know and how he unleashes a year's worth at yeah, the end. Exactly. Yeah. So like he's just been like because he has so much cursed energy. If he doesn't like it's like soccer with a Biaki seal. If he has cursed energy left over from the day, he stores it. Right. So he has like eighteen years of cursed energy stored. Yeah. In like away. So when Mahito uses idle transfiguration to heal him, he can use that. To battle against him. I can tell you're not going to answer my question. What do you mean? What do you think I asked? You asked where is he getting these these resources? Money. Oh, Money, baby. Like to build all the puppets. Yeah, where is he affording these puppets from? That's a genuinely <laughs> really good. I mean. He full on builds a fucking mech. Yeah, well that's the thing, because then at the end he has a fucking like kaiju come out. Yeah. Like a, like a Pacific Rim he, he's robot. Got, he, he's got even number one. Yeah, which is cool. But it's I sick. was like... Aren't you in high school, bitch? Mm -hmm. Like, where did you afford this? I think he might come from a royal family. Uh, he better. I think he. I think he actually I might. I think come, he does. Uh, he might come from one of the jujitsu royal families. But at the same time, if you have enough power that you can control like a fucking army, that's the thing. Who built the first puppet is the real yeah. question. Because he couldn't. I think it was vaguely. I like vaguely remember him saying he's like from a fancy family. Now he's from the Muda clan, which isn't. Uh, that's not a. No. It might be a. It might be like a fancy clan in Kyoto, but it's not. Look, I mean, look, I'll go as far as to be like the school is funding them now. That seems fair. But it's a lot of robots. It's a lot of robots, <laughs> but especially it, with the way he treats them, because he's yeah, just throwing just them at Mahito. Them. It's just just letting them fall asleep in the middle of class, yeah. like. But yeah, it's a cool fight. It's nothing like, it's it's the beginning it's of a over. fight. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. It's cool. He does a big blast at the end. I love for some reason. We always talk about like hand signs and like cool poses and uh, anime. For some reason, one of the ones I always go to. What's his name? Mahito. Mahito. Yeah. 
I love in his domain expansion when he got like a big hand doing this. And it did like the rave fingers it, thing. It yeah. did that. It's like a big hand. Like two of them are clasped like an alligator. And then behind it are two fanned open. Mm -hmm. It just looks great. Like his weird hand dimension is sick. All dimension, like a lot of domain, not all domain expansions, but a lot of domain expansions are really cool. Like yeah. Gojo's Malevolent Shrine, Kenjaku's, I don't are, even remember Do you mean um, Yuji's guy? Who? Sukuna. Go yeah, Sukuna. Oh, I'm sorry, most, Sukuna. That's yeah. what I was going to say. That one's cool. Gojo's isn't... Oh, wait. Unlimited Void is kind of no, cool. No, Unlimited Void is cool. I was thinking of the Magma guy, which is fine. Joe Go. Joe Go. God. Which is... It's aggravating. God. It's very jo aggravating. Joe Go's is just a volcano. <laughs> it's literally just like, hey, there's lava now. But, yeah, like, it's yeah. so hot that it burns you to death. Yeah. What, so, I was actually... I saw a video the other day of somebody who was like, I'm a native Japanese speaker. Let me tell you what, like... Like, you know how the word, like, if your name was Danny... Or like if your name was Rufus, yeah. you would think about those two people differently. She was like, I'm a like I'm a native Japanese speaker. Here's yeah. how you would think about these people, like based off like she compared their names uh -huh. to English names. Apparently, Megami is like Elizabeth. Like it's like a, it's like it's straight up a woman's name and oh, like, yeah. like a classical woman's name. I thought like Megami does not sound like a male's name. Really? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've seen. I feel like I well because of the I for some reason like Umi. I feel like. Does any male name stop like start stop an I? Like, well, yeah, like Italian ones, like Giovanni and stuff. Oh, true. But it's the U M I that is like that throws me off because like it's something that, about Umi is just like soy boy. Yeah, beta cock. Well, it's like like Yuki or like Yumi is like a name. Mm. Like I don't know. I feel like I know female Megumi anime characters. Oh, there's a bunch. There's yeah. tons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's literally tons. I just never like I don't know. Like if you tell me a Japanese name, I'm like. Eh. It's fine. I suppose if a dude rolls up and he's like, I'm Sakura, or if a girl is like, my name's Sasuke. I feel like a dude could rock Sakura, but Sasuke on a girl would be weird. Yeah. I feel like I'd be like, yeah, I'm a Sakura. I'm like, that's kind of cool. That's like an edgy, like he thrifts. That is a little He's got hot. way too You're many right. piercings, you know, yeah. like a big hat. That's no, a big hat name. That's kind of hot. You know, right. yeah. Sakura's cool. It's like he plays guitar, but like, does he play guitar? Yeah. Like he has He's one. He's got hand tattoos. Definitely hand tattoos, <laughs> yeah. but like nonsensical. Or like yeah. mandalas. He's a mandala guy. Yeah. yeah. That's what a soccer yeah. is. It's like You're a right. guy who's na like one namers. Like the one, like my name is like oh, yeah. fish. Yeah, or something. My, my name is Zed. Yeah, something like, like yeah. that. You're like, is it? Because I'm pretty yeah. sure like on your ID, your name is like Benjamin Watson. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, I, like, where did we get Zed from yeah. exactly? But yeah, I mean, it was like a slowish episode from JJK. But then again, like that's. What do you think of the end? stuff i thought it was cool i want to talk about the intros and the outros yeah um like the fight is cool obviously yeah. it's animated in jjk style yeah. i think what's weird i don't think there was a lot of moments for the director to be like let's do this beautiful yeah it felt different it felt season one yeah it very felt like it was like there was no moments of like oh this is transcendent yeah. or like the music is building in such a way it felt very season one and yeah. i'm like i wonder if we're gonna keep that artistic direction in the past. Yeah. And I'm really hoping they don't. I do too. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. cause here's the thing. I loved season one. I watched hidden inventory and I'm like, I liked that so much more. Yeah. Like I know, so me much too. more. I, I, like, I understand. I don't really understand you not liking season one, <laughs> but now that I've watched this episode yeah. and compared it to what we had just gone through, I kind of understand you not liking season one. Yeah. Like it was good, but it wasn't like those last six episodes were like, God tier. Yeah. Like this, transcendent. There was just nothing in this that like blew me away. Mm -hmm. And like, like it being a slow episode is tough because I was like, okay, new director. I'm, I love the last six episodes. This is your shot to make me like UG and like the modern era of what's going on. Uh -huh. And it, I was like, oh no, are we going back to That's, whatever? It kind of felt like that. It felt yeah. like a regression. And again, it's not that I don't, like season one it's just very okay like i like season one as much as i like like assassination classroom yeah like like the soul society in bleach yeah, like, that yeah. was that was good like i'm not gonna rewatch it though yeah exactly i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of in the same camp right now and that's unfortunate because like i've been like the most ardent defender of jjk season one yeah. for the longest time it, on this podcast yeah and like now i'm like the standard it's like flying first class yeah. it's like uh, the standard has been set too high i'm not getting squished back there yeah. again like <laughs> you've given me but the thing is i think what truly made hidden inventory premature death really good is the fact that it's centric on a character's growth and like how like the universe can destroy an ideology yeah and the shibuya incident is that but for itadori yeah so like i think there's gonna be a lot of great moments for like 
building of like tension yeah. in a non-traditional way and like using artistic, like artistic, like almost like absences. Because I feel like a lot of hidden inventory was like, we took the music out of this scene or we like, we made this like more muted to make it seem more serious. Like it invoked a lot of the, like that season invoked the emotions the manga was trying to in right. non-traditional ways. And I think there's a lot of opportunity for that in the Shibuya incident while it is a ton of fights. Yeah. Like it's a ton of fights, but it's also like, there's a lot of moments for growth and it ends in a huge, like probably the most iconic panel in JJK. So I think there's a chance to do it. I just think there wasn't a lot of chances to do it in this episode. Cause if you remember the, like the first episode of hidden inventory, it was just like, Oh, they're playing with a basketball. And then it was like, we have to go find these guys and they jump out of like a, a building. Right. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, cool. That was pretty good, but it wasn't anything to write home about. Right. So like, I still think there's a lot of opportunity here. What I do want to talk about, however, is the intros and the outros. Cause holy shit, did that intro suck ass? Whoa! Uh, worst one yet, but like not even like not wow. even close. Wow! So bad. It's just different. How can you go from <laughs> arguably one of the greatest intros of all time that Iman <laughs> like literally like them jumping out of the tower and like the dragon falling them as it drops into the Iman? Yeah. Imo, one of the greatest injuries of all time. Now it's like just some slow muted, like the guy doesn't even, the singer doesn't even sound <laughs> interested. Like it was yeah. so bad. Wow. I liked it because it's atypical of Japanese music I've heard. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of all it takes sometimes because like, I feel like so many, as someone who hardly listens to Japanese music at all, mm -hmm. a lot of them like, sound so similar like a lot of them just blend together for it just me. sounds like kind of like loose punk rock like like not like not like pop rock it, yeah it's like pop rock like yeah. and so this i was like ooh, this is like different would i like listen to it regularly no and also the visuals weren't good so muted and dark they were they were like okay but i liked i was like oh this is like funky mm -hmm. this is like weird and different that's funny that you hated it i genuinely understand it though because yeah. like going from like the if it was still like Ema and, Ema, and yeah. then we jumped into the shibuya incident which is like a horrific arc you'd be like this is a bit weird it'd be like a little bit like with blood blockade battlefront right now like it's literally like a jazz like the intro like, <laughs> yeah. outro is like a jazz thing and they're yeah. all like dancing together and it literally went from like a boy losing his sister because she was part of like this like massive scheme to like keep monsters away and she just dies and then the outro is like two seconds later it's like -na 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 -na, yeah. and they're just all like kicking you're like <laughs> what the fuck i know i hate when that happens they're like i'm reading i started reading vinland saga again mm -hmm. and at the end they get some hot takes on tiktok too i love vinland saga is the best manga ever created it's very good not done though not done yeah and also like very much on hiatus but also every manga that everyone's like this is the best one isn't done either like Berserk Vag isn't done Berserk's not done vagabond i don't think it's done vagabond is also on hiatus yeah i i think monster 20th is done. century Bo monster is done 20th it's century boys is done is done okay yeah, yeah. but like it's also always saying it it's always yeah. saying it well yeah i mean it's like they usually have like like more subtle themes mm -hmm. i suppose like but but like I don't know. Vinland Saga is the only manga out of all of those. And I think they're all great. Love Monster. Love Berserk. Vagabond mm. sucks. Um, I think Vagabond is boring. Have you read Vagabond? It's boring. It's like poorly written. Like the dialogue's ass. That's kind of fair. And the chapters are like 10 pages long. It mm. moves really weird. It does. Um, it's kind of MHA recently. MHA a week ago released a seven page chapter. Oh, and I was like, it was Why like even bother? Middle of a fight, too. I was like, he's like the mangaka doesn't have like like he has he has health issues. Yeah, fucking put, yeah, it, put it out next week. Yeah, that's weird. But like, I I like don't. It's like you with my opinions on JJK. Mm -hmm. Like almost everything I don't like. I can get why other people like it. I didn't like God of War Ragnarok. I get why people do. Yeah, everything I can do that with most things. I can't fathom why people call Vagabond the best manga ever. reason it doesn't have an anime. I don't understand. Yeah. Monster um, has, I mean, 20th Century Boys doesn't have an anime, and it's also very good, so. Monster has one. Berserk has one that's awful, but. I mean, Berserk has several that are yeah, awful. Yeah. They, they kept trying to throw the pitch, yeah. and they're like, I don't know why it's not working. And they're like, oh, I don't know, probably the 1965 <laughs> CGI you're throwing yeah. at it. Like, might, as well be, might as well be claymation. I got to take another crack at 20, 20th Century Boys. Very I, like, bought it, got a couple chapters in. I was, like, 16, mm -hmm. and then, like, just have them. But anyway. Also, watch Monster. Don't read it. it the, the anime is very good. Oh, is it? Yeah, really? It's very good. It's the manga's great, too, honestly. I mean, yeah. The art's great. Mm -hmm. But, um, 
dude, Vagabond or not Vagabond. Oh my God. Vinland Saga is like <clears throat> the only manga that I've read that I would like put next to literature. Yeah. Like that. I, if someone's like, Oh, what's like, a, if someone's like a hoity toity novel reader only, I would recommend this to a hoity toitist. Yeah. Like it's They're like, I don't know. I think Dune part six really yeah, encapsulated like, like the true. It's like, what are we yeah. 7,000 pages into this universe? <laughs> yeah. Like, but I just like, I don't know. It's so good. But anyway, where I was getting at is at the end of Vinland saga, like novels mm -hmm. or um, like volumes they'll do. So like, for example, volume two ends with, them rolling up on this little village. It's like mid season one. Gotcha, like they yeah. roll up on a village. Prince Canute is with them, mm -hmm. and they're like, uh, Prince Canute's like advisor or whatever is mm -hmm. like, can't we can we find somewhere else to stay? And uh, uh, oh my god, what's his name? Uh, Ask Lad. Gotcha. Ask Lad is like it's like listen, pillaging and like murdering is part of our culture. Like we got to do this. And they massacre like a whole village of 62 people. Just everyone. Just slaughter everyone. It's ruthless. It's horrifying. It's like framed really gritty and mature. Mm -hmm. And then it, it's like end of volume two and you flip the page and it's like a little doodle of like, um, of what's his name? Thorfinn's sister. And she's like baking a big bun. Yeah. And it's like, Oh, like whatever her name's like, happy adventure time yeah and they just do like a little post manga comic like two page comic like an sbs where it's like oh look everyone's happy and you're like yeah. oh my god for one second yes it's like at the end of one piece mangas where they're just like it's like sanji like baking a cake for robin and yeah. then in it is like you know a big hammer and she bonks him mm -hmm. it's, it's like, like the that it's the cover stories like yeah the super cute cover stories the sbs is like uh hunter hunter does that in the anime where it's like kilo would have just ripped a man's heart out and given it to him in a takeaway bag and then it'll be like it's time for kilo and Gones hunterpedia yeah. and they're just like it's like little chibi versions of them explaining hunter terms yeah and Gones like oh kilo you're so funny and he'll like be like wiping blood off his hand and you're like i don't know how to process any that's of so this funny it's wild man yeah. um but that's not the only thing that's been incredibly violent this week uh, oh also the outro was the music's okay i liked the 90s because at jjk takes place in the 90s i think um i like that they oh, had like i think they had the disposable cameras and everything no it does not it's, it's got to be 2000 it's 2018 i think <laughs> oh yeah. way different not even remotely the same do they have flip phones or they do i think they have iphones no, so they have, so in Go, no, Gojo's timeline was 2003. They're now in 2018. So like back in the day, um, Shoko had like a flip phone. She used it to call Gojo, gotcha. uh, but they have iPhones now. But the, like them having the disposable cameras and like a bunch of like the, like, like yeah. overexposed camera, like photo things, I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, I, Baki came out with another season. Yeah. And I... <laughs> Do you like or not like Baki? It's, you talk about it every week, but I never remember. I, it's so, it's such a love-hate relationship yeah. because here's the thing. I fucking love fighting anime. <laughs> I love fighting anime. Yeah. But like, here's the thing. I like like straight up like we kick and punch. Yeah, but, like, like not obvious, powers. That's the thing. Like when Key Blast and all of it come in, I can I can love it. But like that's when we get to Shonen territory. Yeah. When it's just like martial arts boxing, and obviously it's all fucking ridiculous. Yeah. But like I still love it. Yeah. And so like my biggest problem with it is that like Baki comes on, and I'm like, this is my favorite kind of genre currently. But fuck, is it bad? It's so <laughs> it's not good. It's so okay. It's it's entertaining is what it is. But like at the same time, it's not mm -hmm. because. This entire arc is that, like, Baki's finally fighting his father, Yuji Rohan, uh -huh. who's going to come up in our draft later. Oh, because yeah. me and Danny are doing a draft later of worst anime parents, and he's definitely fucking up there. Not if I take him. Uh, go, literally go wild. <laughs> My list is 12 people. Deep. Okay. Um, so he, it's like, we're going to fight. We're going to fight. And the entire arc is, like, Baki being like, I should invite him over to the house. And, like, it can be a quarrel over, like, us being father and son, which is a cool idea, except for the fact that it takes, like, seven fucking episodes. Meanwhile, what, distracting from what has been building the entire, the entirety of Baki is about him getting stronger to fight his father. Well, it's, it's like gear six or gear five, like yeah. finally happening. Everyone's like, oh my God, yeah. Kaido's going to get his ass kicked. But first let's do cooking with Sanji because there's a character who got introduced two seasons ago called yeah. Sea King Retsu, who's just 
He's a kung fu master, the best kung fu artist in all of in China, just in Las Vegas boxing dudes. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why are we here? Yeah. And then it's like every single fucking punch they throw, they're like, while wow, the person being hit with this punch won't remember it. People in the crowd say it happened a lot like this. And then it cuts to a guy and he's like, I don't know, I was watching the fight and then his hand disappeared and the guy was on the ground. And I'm like, Weird. Why do I need this? Why do I need the reaction yeah. shots of every? It's so aggravating, dude. Oh my god! Why do you watch god. it? You don't like it? I don't because it's entertaining. Is it, it? It's like it's reality television. It's, yeah. it's watching it, and you're like, Are the this, fights good? Not even really. You don't like this show? I, yeah, it's a it's a it's a toxic relationship, <laughs> uh-huh. Daniel. I literally I watch it. And I'm like, this is not good. But like, I want to know how it ends. What's a good thing about it? I legit, I can't tell you. Like, I don't like some, because here's the thing. The fights would be really cool if it was like punch, punch. Like I'm watching this show right now, this live action TV show. All it takes is punch, punch for it to improve. I'm watching this Korean TV show called Bloodhounds right now. And if you guys are, if you have a, yeah, if you have a Netflix, it's not, it's not strikes. It's from Korea. But if you have a Netflix subscription, Bloodhounds is really good. It's about these two Korean boxers who become Bloodhounds with like money collectors who like beat the shit out of people like when you don't give them your money. And they both did the work. Like they're both legitimately like pretty good boxers and like the choreography is like old boy level. Like it's like, they are just like entire scenes where it's like them versus 20 dudes and it's like a seven, eight minute action piece of these two dudes (laughs) just like ducking punches like very realistically like and like taking blows and it's Really good. Damn. Bucky is like, and Bucky kicked him. And Bucky, and like Bucky kicked him. And his father didn't react. And then it explains why his father didn't react for three fucking minutes. Oh. And that's and that's the whole thing. And there's yeah. like four, there's like four punches thrown. And we give record of Ragnarok so much shit for it because like it started that way. And Bucky at one point or another was like, okay, I yeah. guess. And now it's just not. Yeah. And I watch it because it's entertaining. That's it. And I, I needed to get it off my chest because I I you don't like the show. I think I'm being abused. Yeah. Genuinely. I think you're self-harming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's all the time. It's all, that's the problem. It's like, I'm like, I'm cooking. Like, it, the problem is I watch anime while I cook. And I need something to watch while I cook. There's gotta be other things. There's for sure other things. There's Wolf's Rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Dorothy, she, she's like, can we watch something else? I'm like, I need to understand why this is the apocalypse, yeah. okay? You understand how important wolves are yeah. to the economy as a whole. <laughs> So yeah, I I literally I just I, I'm gonna I'm probably there's one more episode I'm almost caught up I'm almost done yeah and then there'll be a new season in six yeah, months and, and I'll fucking watch it you'll then. hate it again but like I just I need to stay caught up with it because it's a thing that a lot of people watch and I've yeah. just been waiting for the new season of Kengan Ashura for what feels like six millennia because that was an actually good fighting anime what is Kengan Ashura why have I heard of that it's the CGI one but it's like oh. really good CGI it's like bafflingly good CGI uh-huh. it's like kind of ugly but like once you get past the fact that it's ugly like the choreography and the battles are like actually sick interesting it's definitely ugly oh yeah it's not fun to look at dude like Beastars got so lucky by starring animals Mm -hmm. by starring beasts if you will because the thing is it's the uncanny valley of cgi because it looks more realistic but that makes it look worse yeah like the the animals were an easier hurdle to get over than like trigun was for some reason trigun was really tough for me to be like it did take me a couple of episodes trigun stampede is yeah trigun stampede but like every now and then it does like there will be like undeniably gorgeous shit. Yeah. Like at the end of the first episode where he like shoots the missile and like. He's it, like trying to reload and he's like yeah. fumbling the bullet. Yeah. Like that's stunning. But just like conversations, I'll be like, man, this is when they weird were to look places, at. And yeah. it was like, it was like three frames too short. Like yeah. it was like occasionally you just see the jump and I'd be like, I, something about it makes me uncomfortable. It's, it's tough when it's humans. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Trigun is probably the gold standard. It's like Trigun and Demon Slayer are the best CGI I've seen. Yeah. I would say outside of things like Final Fantasy movies back in the day were <laughs> yeah. so good. Yeah. Like what is it? What is a, the Final Fantasy VII movie? Um, I have no idea what they're I, called. It's like, s- it, it's like retrograde or something, right? Like, yeah, it's like a, no, I think it's like an Apple or something. I, I'm <sighs> total, I used to watch it on my PSP. Is it Angel something? Maybe we're making somebody really angry and really happy because this is a core memory for me. There was big ass mechs though. There was like huge mechs. And like, for some reason, final fantasy movies back in the day, I used to watch shine down AMVs to it. Uh, Let's go. What is the, uh, what is the, 
Tell my father. Yeah, t- <laughs> tell my mother. Tell my father. I'm not angry. I'm, I'm just saying. saying. Yes. Th- Sometimes goodbye is a second chance. chance. Sorry, we just had to finish the chorus. Absolutely. Otherwise, I would have. And I just used to watch like Cloud yeah. riding his motorcycle to that. And like, why was anima- Why was that animation so good? That's so funny you said that because I was in the shower today. Sometimes I'll take whole showers trying to come up with <laughs> period sometimes i'll finish it sometimes i'll take a whole shower <laughs> yeah. um, i'll do it i'll fucking do it right now <laughs> so good. you're fast man mm-hmm. um so now i'll take whole showers just coming up with original music yeah <laughs> for like videos i've been working on this song this lego she song for b stars okay that like the joke is supposed to be that it's really sad and good but there's a lot of pressure on that because if it's not actually really sad and good, it's just cringy. Gotcha. So I, I've been working on that, but I, it's funny cause today I like came up with the line of like, like I'm not angry. I'm just saying, uh-huh. and I'm like, that that's from something. And I'm like, no, maybe I'm just sick. Yeah. And then you just, that's so weird that I'm today so you said it. I'm so sorry, just broke the immersion No, thank you. God. I <laughs> didn't accidentally <laughs> come out swinging with my emotional piece yeah. that rips off Shine Down. Your fucking Shine Down Lagoshi yeah. cover. Yeah. yeah. So I, uh, if it means anything to you, I fall asleep apparently thinking about you because the other night I woke up from like, I was like, I was literally getting into bed and me and Dorothy were talking and I was like, Shh, I like, like shushed her lips and I rolled over and I like held my phone down. I held the button down on my phone. I was like, text Danny. And he and it was like, what do you want to send Danny? And I was like, Danny, skit idea. Man says he feels better about peeing when he sits down. And the guy was like, well, why are you peeing in front of people while sitting down? And it cuts to him sitting in a urinal and he's like, uh, because that's how you do it. And, and Danny didn't respond to me for like 12 hours. And I was like, fuck, he thinks I'm not funny. And then I get a text back from Danny at 1230 the next day, but like literal gold. And I was like, oh, Dude, thank that, God. Listen, you pitched that horribly just now, but yeah. that sketch rules and it's, we got to do it. We really genuinely have I to. I love someone sitting on a urinal. It's, <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know how it came to me. Yeah. I felt like Ben to like getting a message back from an OnlyFans model. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like, oh my God, I'm so validated wow. right now. look at you. Yeah, I just want to, I want to make, I want to make sketches with you. Let's do sketches. We'll absolutely do yeah. it. I feel like it would be like a very like immersion breaking thing because people are like, this is an anime. Yeah. <laughs> you get to be funny. Oh, how rare of us to do some non-anime content. Genuinely fair. <laughs> Dorothy made me smile today when she was like, I feel like listening to you guys' your guys' podcast has made me realize that other podcasts are boring. And I was nice. like, nice. I was like, that's the nicest thing you've ever said about my content. <laughs> Listen, not to toot our own horn. Pretty good. I... Th- I will like Josh will play me podcasts mm-hmm. like from uh what are they called? Not the yard. It might be the, no Friday beers. Do you know them? Oh, uh, are they? Oh, no, they're like huge sketch comedy. I kind like, of know it. Yeah. yeah, they like work for Barstool now and stuff. But yeah, they yeah. like they have a podcast. Them every podcast Josh shows me, they turn it on and it's like, yeah. Uh, what have you been up to this mm-hmm. week? Um. Yo, you know what? I picked up uh, I picked up those tools that I was talking about. Oh, yeah, you picked those up. Yeah, that's crazy. You're going to get that built? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yo, I fucked this girl yeah, this week. Yeah, no way. Uh, yeah, dude. Like, literally, my penis was inside her. Uh-huh. Literal technical sex. She, and then? <laughs> and then the sex. And then sex. And then, I, and then I finished the sex. And then they made a million dollars with a better help ad. It's just, like, so slow. Mm-hmm. And I get, and I like, that's what Dorothy was saying. She was like, I feel like listening to other podcasts are so slow. And it's like, probably because me and Danny have like content creator, fill up the space, like voice. Well, that's the thing. I, I fear sometimes that we're too fast because I'm like, man, that would be nice to just like not panic for two hours. We did it with Michaela where we're like, oh yeah. How was Scientology school? And she was like, not good. I was like, (laughs) that's cool. The the entire time I was like, Am I being boring? I, I, was, know, like, I, was, like, I was like, am I being sweaty? Because yeah. yes. Like, I kind of like, listen, I, yeah. I understand. I like our speed. I do like our speed because I feel like our speed leads to a lot of manic kind of like, yeah. like just like, how did we get here moments? Yeah, yeah. We were like, no, JGK was good. I feel like we yeah. would never get on our tangents. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's what I appreciate about like trash taste from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. This anime podcast, we talk so much but about. But neither of us watch. We, we interact yeah. solely through the capacity of like a TikTok will pop up occasionally. But there's just like them and the Weekly Planet, which I watch and love uh-uh. or listen to and love. And they just like, yeah, they just like know how to like keep 
content riffing baby it's like you got a riff every everyone always jokes about like oh everyone just sits down and makes a podcast and that's true uh-huh. but you can always tell who's like should have a podcast and who shouldn't by how much of just like yeah so like what do you what have you been up like never ask what have you been up to it's just like just say what you've come prepared with i could I, fill two hours any day of the week. Yeah. Any day of the week. You sit me down, I'll be like, I'll talk about fucking wrenches. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do we decide that that was the thing that we're going to do? Yeah. I almost took a shot at somebody when you said you can decide who decide. I, I'm not even going to go. Oh, my God. I, 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 <laughs> I, I'm being my own PR person. <laughs> Thank um, God. Look how much you've grown. But, yeah, so Baki hurt me physically. Yeah, uh, everything else. Uh, Zom 100 is finally kind of a zombie show. And now I see why his boss was at the aquarium. Yeah, that was my other note because yeah. it, like I finally we got to like kind of an actually pretty dark episode from Zom 100, which is kind of yeah. nuts. Episode four was pretty dark too when that uh, they with oh, the they flight the, attendants mm-hmm, and then they yeah. all die and they all die yeah. and that guy like kind of fucks that one girl so hard that she dies like sort of. because he bangs her so hard. First off, here's what happens mm-hmm. right. Tensho is having sex with this woman. Yes, and then they hear a scream from her friend. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, should we check on that? And then the woman's like, no, I want to go a second round. Yeah, absolutely. So his dick was so good, it prevented them from rescuing that friend. Have you? That's murder number one. (laughs) Then they go and investigate, and that friend is already a zombie. Yeah. And Tension's like, oh no, you're a zombie. And she starts rushing at them, and the girl he was fucking is so fucked out of her mind. Is so, is so dick crazy. <laughs> yeah, she's, so, she's so dick rabbit. Yeah. And she's just like, uh-huh. Eaten. Immediately. Murder number two, yeah. direct consequence of his fucking. So the lesson, uh, trying the drive home lesson from Psalm 100, women shouldn't orgasm. Don't fuck too hard. Don't, yeah, stop <laughs> like, pleasing women. It's honestly, it's unsafe for them. Yeah. What were you going to say? I'm going to know. I'm going to start busting prematurely just so Dorothy <laughs> is aware. All right. Wow. What a saint. I, I got How be. selfless. I love her. All yeah. right. I can't have her. Listen, she, yeah. she stumbles out of the bedroom <laughs> and then just gets taken by the neck. Listen, if she was upset that, yeah. oh, oh, I, I couldn't get hard. She would just kick down the door, <laughs> kick the zombie down the stairs. Yeah. She'd be fine. She's got to vent the energy somewhere. Clearly I'm not doing it for her. Babe, it's for you that you're not getting satisfied. Listen, babe. All right. One, I care about you and I love you. You're being crazy right yeah. now. And two, it's because you're hot. All right. Yeah, you're babe, too hot. Babe, sweetheart, darling, babe. Babe. Chill. Chill out. <laughs> hey, you're being crazy right I now. Have nothing. We'll invite her on the podcast. You know, come up yeah. here. Yeah. Come yeah. up here. How do you feel about It's just like, dog. <laughs> do, do you think women do you think women should should orgasm? You do? It's a bad take. Or I'm oh, sorry. Well, I was just like, hey Dorothy, what do you think about uh women orgasming? She's no. like, I think they should out. Out. <laughs> out. <laughs> Go. But we also are, so Sarah's coming here soon. Yeah. Sarah's moving to LA soon. Uh, so me and Danny have, since we're talking about our girlfriends, we have decided that me and Danny are going to do a girlfriend's podcast. Yeah. Now we're like the girlfriends have a podcast, though that would be funny. Um, I know with the Try Guys did that. It was like the yeah. Try Wives. The Try Wives. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, but we want to have them on the podcast. And yeah. I think we should ask them, like, I feel like we should get like a roster of anime characters and be like, would you bang? Yeah. And also like, what is his character shtick? Yeah. We'll That's do what a game. Do. It, it'll be like a girl friend special it won't mm-hmm. be like a new it won't be like otaku's anonymous shippuden yeah where they're regular oh god no no no, no. It's like, just it was, reassuring yeah them. no we're just gonna like have them on once because like yeah. dorothy has multiple times already the fact she's like i don't want to be on it yeah, I'm like, I was That's gonna fair. Say, yeah. yeah she was like today she was like should we start a, a couple's tiktok and i was like oh no. <laughs> what and she was like yeah. oh okay and i was like oh I'm, like we can I was yeah like, <laughs> I was like, i'm willing like it's like i'll do i'll do it i'll find i'm like yeah we can be like oh what babe do you crack you crack you, crack, you cracked the pasta before you it's put gonna it in be water like, it's gonna be like when your boyfriend picks you up yeah <laughs> i don't know what to do <laughs> that's it I, I that's froze. the video <laughs> you froze me and that's a video but yes so it got dark this week at Zob 100 <laughs> yeah genuinely a really good episode oh, yeah. um dealing with like the ptsd and all of that and, like a corrupted system yeah. finally felt like a, like a zombie because like the like the power went out and like we're out of wi-fi and yeah. like we should yeah, also they're running out of like amenities and they're also like yeah we're like the last people in tokyo and yeah. the, it finally started to set into them they're like oh we should stop having fun yeah like I- people are dead like, everyone is dead yeah, they, it opens though with them like robbing a jewelry store mm-hmm. and it made me think, what would you do? 
Well, why is everybody in a zombie movie not dripped the hell out? It's genuinely an incredible question. Right? The second the zombie apocalypse happens, if I can make it to Rodeo, I'm yeah. I'm putting eight Rolexes on my arm. Yeah. One, technically it's defense. What are you going to bite through this yeah, watch, true. bitch? Like, absolutely. Like, I'm, I'm getting the biggest like Rolexes I can get, and I'm wrapping around my arms. I'm putting every single time zone on there. Dude, that would be a sick plot for like or not plot but sick like character trait for a character in a zombie thing where they've got like a bunch of broken watches and was mm-hmm. like yeah i got bit at like 3 45 like 2 30 keep track of when everyone yeah. saved me yeah well because when it bites you it'll break the watch and yeah. it'll stop on that time that'd, that'd be, sick. be sick that'd be really cool i think we just, I think we just built a guy yeah well, nobody take that we just built a whole man a whole dude no one take it we'll ship it to uh we'll ship it to what the walking dead yeah they need more characters to kill every yeah, season. They'll take it. I'm pretty sure a show's over, but that's yeah. fine. But yeah, no, I would it's do the not. Same. They have like four series coming out. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's way too much. I would be so dripped out. I would have like the most obnoxious chain that would yeah. absolutely get me killed. Like yeah. 1,000. Like I would just be yeah. like, You like, definitely sh- don't want something grabby. Exactly. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. They would stab you by the chain. And also, I just like clink. Yeah. I'd be like fucking two chains. I just like chains would be clinking. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, oh, there he is. Yeah. Uh, what, would, what would you do? Would like the first thing that you would do in the zombie apocalypse? First thing or yeah. first like article of clothing? Well, like, okay. Like, obviously, we're stealing. Like, like, it's not 100%. Like- uh, yeah. I mean, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing that zombie movies don't taken into consideration Mm because it's always like we'll go to a mall and the people are like have this whole mall kitted out and it's like was no one a zombie in this mall well but like you know how many fucking people would like if we went to the mall Mm -hmm. not even zombies it'd be like every alpha bro ever being like yo this mall's mine it'd be fucking gang wars in the mall killing each other it would be like wards you get like a store what was the uh, what was the movie the uh, the zombie movie from like two thousand and eight that has Phil from uh, Modern Family in it and he's like is it Dawn of the Dead I think it's Dawn of the Dead where they're in the mall and then they get like yeah. the buses and they have the yeah, chainsaws yeah, yeah. going out of the bus we literally just rewatched that recently um, that's it it was like that's like the idea where I was like oh a mall is the perfect place to be yeah. but it's like the mall was closed and like nobody was even The Walking Dead did it where it was like oh nobody was in the mall like there's yeah. like it's like zombie free that's what I'm saying if the mall is empty obviously the mall but, but like really, how is the mall empty in the first place i know i really think there's gonna be like insane turf wars in the mall like you let one person in your mall mm. they are going to try and take the mall Absolutely. like you're fucked why wouldn't they yeah but then again even taking a mall not that great of an idea like oh cool we have seven clothing stores in a manga store no like, food yeah like it's like oh there's the food court Oh, true. It's going to run out in like a week. Yeah. You know, it's like the food court isn't like stocked to the T with like frozen and canned foods. Yeah. There's like Chipotle. It's like, oh yeah, like we got we got Pico for the next two days until it goes bad. Like, yeah. It's a terrible place to be. Yeah. Grocery store is probably grocery better. Grocery store. Yeah. Every single day. A grocery store that's connected to a dick sporting goods or like, a, like you, what you want to do is you want to get a strip mall in like a country area. Yeah. That's what you want to go for because a strip mall in a country area always has a sporting goods store, a, a grocery store, and then like a movie theater. Yeah. I don't know. You don't need the movie theater, but it's big. Yeah. You can yeah, keep yeah. the zombies there or something. Right. But like, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. You know what you do? Mm-hmm. Ideally you have guns first, right? Yeah. You have some guns, take up a grocery store. Like you and a few people make this grocery store, like your base. Yeah. Then you find whoever's taken the gun store and you make a trade route Cans with them. Cans of food yeah. for pistols. For and you guns. You run them you, at each other. You become the lead in commerce mm-hmm. for at least a little bit yeah. with everyone else who you need things from. Yeah. And, and you're you just do. dealing chunkies, like chunky Campbell's, yeah. chunky Campbell's cans yeah, of soup. Yeah, just canned peaches. I do, the thing is, majority of the food that I eat that doesn't come from like HelloFresh or like, like yeah. I, I eat the same thing for breakfast every single day. I have a can of soup for lunch every single day. I would crush it in the apocalypse. Yeah, I got PB&Js forever. Like, exactly. Yeah. The things that last forever anyways, hell yeah, I'm rocking that shit. Yeah. But my big thing is like, okay, outside of the constraints of like, you need to stay alive in like the zombie yeah. eating sense. What's like the hype the, thing you're doing first? The thing that I'm doing, what they did in the Zom 100 movie that I forgot to bring up last week, they go fucking skydiving. <laughs> How did they go sky? There's a whole thing oh, where it's like, it's like they all jump out of like a yeah. plane together and they're like, oh. How do you so- get in the air to begin with? Yeah. Like- None of them know how to fly. Like the, the yeah. girl the, I, whose name I'm spacing does not know how to drive. Which one of you has your pilot's license? Yeah. And it's like, where did you find a, how do you know how to pack a parachute? Like, was like also you had like helmets and goggles and all that. And I was like, how did any, also did you, was there another person who flew the plane or did you guys fly in a plane and all jump out and let the plane crash? Yeah. Now, if you have a plane, hold on to it. Yeah, true. And that's the most important thing. Like, oh, we need to make Leave it up. Leave Japan. 
Yeah, right? Like, like find like go to Guam or something. Yeah. Like go somewhere. Like go to Okinawa. Go to a less populated area. Yeah. That, that was baffling to yeah. me. So those I was like, that would be kind of fun. But I think like genuinely, I think I would like I think I would like jump a motorcycle over something. I would jump like I would that's, You can do that now, my guy. No, well, <laughs> fair, genuinely fair. But okay. you of all people have the money and resources to do that now. That would be really fun. You know what I would like to do? I would like to put a big old snowplow on like a big truck yeah. and then just fucking barrel just through some zombies. Just do like zombies. a Mad Max fucking nonsense. Absolutely. Yeah. I would love to barrel through some yeah. zombies. That would be fun. Yeah, I think I just enjoy killing zombies. Right? Like conscious free. Mhm. Mm That'd be pretty hype. You I, just give me, you give me like a thousand rounds of ammo and like a sniper rifle. Yeah. And I'm just like, Phew. I, th I like, cause you're doing, you're doing the right thing. It's like yeah. hunting and it's like, like when, uh, boars, like wild boars oh, yeah. will they, come and like rip up yeah. crops and like, Oh, like hunting with my yeah. AR-15. Z zombies are a nuisance exactly. animal. They're you're a pest. Like, you're just like, fucking, yeah. it's like what they do in Dawn of the Dead where they have the two signs yeah. and they're like, they're like shoot, like, and they'll do like the ones that look like celebrities and they're like shoot that one. That'd be fun as fuck. Yeah. yeah That'd yeah. be so much fun. Yeah, I think I like to think I'd run like a stealth build in the zombie apocalypse. Oh, you'd be a stealth archer. I got it. Not archer. I'd just like creep into like abandoned buildings and scavenge. You would do and shit. urban ex exploration. I would do urban exploration. You could do that now. No, I can't. Absolutely can. And steal? There's entire YouTube. Oh, well, and steal. Yeah. What is urban exp? Oh, like run down things. Yeah. There's nothing to find in there. That's fair. I hate. Uh, and here's the thing. Mm. This is so like capitalist of me. Okay. And like, I hate the poor. <laughs> these, these people are definitely like actually happy, mm -hmm. but I hate seeing videos like that where they're like, all right, I'm going to be doing my urban exploration. They sneak into an abandoned building. It's like, whoa, look at this. Whoa. Like undamaged rebar. Yeah. And it's like fucking like, these are your treasures yeah. that you're finding. It's like the scuba people who are like, yeah, I'm like snorkeling oh, down God. and I'm like, I like when they help fish or stuff mm -hmm. like that's cool. Yeah. But I hate when they're like, Whoa, look at this, like a bottle. And it's like, yeah, you found sea trash, Dude, idiot. It, it's the magnet people. The magnet yeah. people like, get like, like, oh, a shopping cart, yeah. a broken scooter. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, like, if you're not pulling out gold bars yeah. out of the water, like what like, yeah. what are we doing here? Like hit me up when you find like the collector's edition of Street Fighter VI in your urban, urban exploration. Dude, that's my thing. They're, yeah. like, they're like, oh, sunglasses. And it's like $3 plastic sunglasses. And it's like, why are we ex it's yeah. trash yeah it's trash like it's just a, like a, a good job like you're picking up littering like thank you for doing that but like yeah. god damn do I, I don't give a shit yeah if you find like a sword hype absolutely that's a fine Love but a yeah sword. There, there's no treasures being found absolutely not yeah. okay should we get to our draft we absolutely should oh also wait no we got our first look at miyazaki's new film and boy oh boy does it look like the other ones wow look at us yeah is that Dude, exactly what you wrote yeah i well, I like almost wasn't going to say that because mm -hmm. I thought it'd be like, yeah, no duh, idiot. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. I don't know why. I was expecting something like mm -hmm. some big like, whoa, this is a Miyazaki film in like 2023. Yeah. It like just looks like it Spirited looks Away. Good. Yeah. Like as good as Spirited Away looks, yeah. you know, like I mean, it's kind of funny. It's uncanny. It's like uncanny Miyazaki value yeah. because uh, so the, the boy in the heron is the movie it's got like three different names for some reason but we just got a bunch of like looks at it for some reason like just Danny sent me like leaks of it all of it and like it's a lot of photos of the characters yeah. and they all look like alternate dimension characters yeah. from other Miyazaki movies I know he really only knows like big one old style nose, big yeah. old nose witch yeah big old nose witch for sure uh, main character girl yeah uh, he, he knows like young teen boy with bowl cut yes or like with bangs in the body Bob cut mm -hmm. uh big witch yeah and then like creepy animal yeah like yeah. Like, like kind of like realistic but also unrealistic like yeah. the big old hair he, yeah he's got a herring with human teeth yeah. which is weird that's the thing but, but it's like yeah it, it's it's weird it just looks like the other stuff you really know it's like six character designs in one style and listen if for the last 40 years, I have been paid millions of dollars to do those characters over and over and yeah, over again. Yeah, for sure. Fucking A right, I'm doing them. Yeah. People call them the, the Walt Disney of Japan. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing those characters again. I would just love if the shots we were seeing was some like spectacular, like, like, I don't, like a house exploding and you see like every like, uh, what, like board of wood or whatever, yeah. like some feet of animation like in howl's moving castle when the castle is breaking apart and you see the yeah. pieces falling off of it yeah yeah or even just the castle moving like even though it's just like a bunch of 
pieces. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a puppet. It's not that crazy of animation. It looks sick. Like it looks impressive and yeah. stunning. But, but I think yeah. the problem is Miyazaki's films have always set the standard for like beauty in animation. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like we're just so, we're so like desensitized to it. We're like, oh, looks gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. We're like, oh, oh, another, another gorgeous animation, like generational president sending movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi. I know. I know. I'm sure it'll be cool. I just hope it's like, I don't know anything about it. I hope it's like another PG 13 one. I don't want yeah. another Ponyo. I don't want another, like the oh, wind dude. rises. Oh, Ponyo, wow. dude. I just, listen, Hayao Miyazaki films are either gripping toward like stories about war yeah. and how it can destroy an entire household. Or it's like, I'm going to cry, but surely because this is the happiest I've ever been. I didn't know you were such a Hayao Miyazaki fanboy. I, fan boy. I we, First tattoo. Well, yeah, well, yeah, but Howl's Moving Castle is good. We've talked about it. I thought, I thought we agreed I think most of them are boring as hell. They are, yeah. but they're fun in their boringness. Like my neighbor Totoro apparently yeah. is about death, but it's also like <laughs> 50 minutes long in like about nothing. Yeah. And it's, it's, that is, I think my neighbor Totoro is, has no reason to be as popular as it is. Yeah. I think it's probably the worst out of Hayao's, like Miyazaki's films. Everything else, the castle in the sky, uh, Nausicaa, uh, yeah. like the wind valley or wind valley, Nausicaa. Valley of the wind. Is, yeah, that's the yeah. one. Uh, Ponyo, we Bo haven't seen Porco Russo. Neither of us seen Porco no, Russo, no. so we can't even talk about that. Kiki's delivery service. Incredible. Blow. Oh, it's just about a girl delivering bread. Yeah, that's, make more plot. That's fun. It is. She's <laughs> no. not, it, it's, a, it's about a girl. It's about a, it's literally an archetypal story of a girl moving to mm. a big city and trying to find her way in the big city. It's sex in the city with, a, with an innocent little child delivering bread. I, like, can't do movies like that. I need things to happen. I guess. I can't do, like, episodic, like... Just meandering around. Isn't that what Spy Family is? That's like, at least it's funny. That's, that's genuinely, <laughs> yeah, like, Kiki's Delivery Service is not funny. Like, it's it, just cute. It does, look, I don't need like a crazy gripping plot if you're a comedy, mm -hmm. you know, like just be funny. But then if you're not funny, you've lost all chances. We have problems. Yeah. When it's just like, this is an hour and a half of animation. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. I, I like don't even love Spirited Away. Like Spirited Away is so just like, if it didn't look as good as it did, it wouldn't be nearly as pop, uh, popular. Like it is like what everyone says Demon Slayer is. It's a Demon Slayer of anime films. Your face isn't changing. I'm, not, I'm gonna go ahead and it's, distance my. I'm not. I'm it, not. You know what? I'm not doing the the it, Ragnarok it is, thing with you here. It nope. is carried by its animation. It's not bad. Okay. Like Spirited Away is not a bad film. It's just like pretty good, but the animation is great. And yes. that's not like, especially for the time period, especially for the time period, the animation is fantastic, but, and that's not like, I like, I say this about demon slayer too, where like being like, Oh, it's just carried about animation or carried by animation. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's as big of an insult as people mean it to be because it's not like the animation is going to change. Yeah. Well, like the animation's fucking like, 80% of the film. Yeah. Like, and also he's the writer, director, lead animator. Mm -hmm. So at least a third of his job is like a hundred percent drawing the entire fucking thing. Yeah. So like, if you like it because of the animation alone, that is enough reason to like it. But like, I can't watch, I've watched princess Mononoke a ton of times. Mm -hmm. I like, I've seen spirited away like three times now. I can't do it a fourth. How was moving castle yeah. princess Mononoke? Spirited Away. That's fair. Castle in the Sky. Nausicaa. Ponyo. Fire, Grave, of the, what Grave is, of the Fireflies. Grave of the Fireflies. Have you seen Tales of Earthsea? Nope. Gotcha. I hadn't even heard about it until you told me about it. He has so many goddamn movies. He's got a handful. For like sure. way too many, considering the fact that he hand draws every single one of them. Yeah. I'm like, please, I just want him to rest. I want him to spend time I with his family. I want him dead so bad. No, I want him, like literally the majority of his movies are about him apologizing. Like Spirited Away is about him apologizing for not seeing his family. And I'm like, just go do it, man. Yeah. Just go, just go see your family. Whatever. Speaking of bad parents, let's get into our draft because today me and Daniel are doing a draft and today's draft is about the worst parents in anime. Yeah. And earlier you said I get the first pick, uh -huh. which was a bad choice because number one is the unequivocally worst parent in all of anime history, Shao Tucker. 
I didn't think you'd do it. You didn't think I would I didn't take think you'd do it. the worst you're, anime parrot in you're history. You're the fucking biggest Shao Tucker apologist because you want furries. Uh, listen, well, I, I didn't think you'd do it. Well, I understand where Shao Tucker was coming from because obviously dog girls aren't going to come from nowhere. Doesn't make him a good father. I didn't. I, did, I thought I could trust you giving you why? first. Why would you give me that? I thought you were going to be like Gon's dad or whatever. Jing is not a good dad. He's definitely in my possibilities, like wow. my possible list. Can't believe you would give me that. Good call. Wild that you well gave me Well done. That. Good game. Yeah, yeah. GG's <laughs> legitimately. All right. I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with Endeavor. God damn it. Bad I was, dad. I was really hoping you were. Physically abusive father. I was, I was, <laughs> yeah, that was like my third round pick. I literally like remembered him. He's the last name I have on this list. Because I was like, Endeavor is a great pick. And I feel like Danny's yeah. going to forget him. No, God damn it. Drove That's his really, wife to insanity. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then like, just like literally like forced his wife to like burn their yeah. child. God damn it. That's a yep. good pick. You know what? Almost as good as Shao Tucker. I genuinely believe it. All right. Number two, mm -hmm. oh, man, there's a lot, there's a lot of good choices here. Wow. I'm going to go Yujiro Hanma. Uh, Yujiro Hanma literally needs Baki's dad. Yujiro gotcha. Hanma. Right, right, right. Killed Baki's mother. Uh, because she was defending him. And then like Baki like literally lives his entire life to defeat his father, who just routinely beats the shit out of him. Currently in the anime, he hit him so hard twice, Baki peed himself. So <laughs> yeah, it's it just a That's bad a dude. Strong feet. Yeah, like legitimately like, just like loosed his bowels twice. Yeah. So yeah, kind of a bad dude. Nice. I'm going to go uh, Gambino from Berserk. Gambino. Yeah, Guts is dad. Oh, yeah, my the one God. who sold him to get banged by some ginormous dude mm -hmm. at like age six. Yep. Yeah, him. That's not a good. That's not a good. That actually that brings up some because like selling your child is kind uh -huh. of a trope in anime that I completely forgot about. Those are bad parents as yeah, well. I'd agree. Fuck, that's a good. That's a good one. All right, uh -huh. I'm not gonna go. I could go. There's there's another one that sold is like very topical that sold his child that I'm gonna leave oh, yeah? on the back burner here for a second. This one's gonna be a kind of a deep cut. I'm gonna go Shinji's dad. Uh, Shinji from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Okay. Gendo Ikari. Gotcha. Uh, the, literally just the entire meme of get in the Ava Shinji. <laughs> like like literally a dude who's like you are gonna kill monsters. I don't <laughs> care how much it scars you. Yeah. Oh and by the way, I cloned your mother. Please don't. <laughs> have sex with her the worst the worst dude in the history of fathers kind of a deep cut though because i don't know how many of our fans have seen neon genesis but like it's pretty popular it's, I feel. Pre it's i mean it's yeah. arguably the best mecca of all time yeah. I, I don't think it is but it's wow. agreed upon to be the best mecca what of do all you time. think is either iron blood or orphans or honestly 86 Woo! yeah i know 86 Getting, baby i also like I, I would never say that well, what's the one that zero two is from Zero. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. What's the one with Lelouch? Lelouch is That's, a mech one, That's yeah. also pretty good. It's more like considered a political drama, but like I feel like political drama is always tied into mech. But anyways, yeah. yes, my third pick, Gendo Ikari. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna do. We got a lot of fathers on here. Do you what? have any mothers? I have one. I have one mother. I got one mother. Do you want to do a, a mother to mother? How about we both go wimmy, like women for Wimmies. round four. Wimmies. <laughs> let's do, let's We're both gonna do, do women. We're going to do Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Nagisa's mom. Nagisa. Yes. Yeah, baby. Evil bitch. Evil bitch. I she, keep forgetting about her. You remember when she grabs Nagisa by his dumb little ponytails and shakes his She's head like, and you're screams you're a girl. You're a girl. Yeah. 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 Nagisa's mom psychotic person. and then i like that the anime is like oh yeah by the way we're gonna thirst trap him as like a, like a gender bent yeah. character here yeah, and everyone's like, like he has a lot of trauma about i know this. like yeah the the anime is just like hey but like one of his trauma was kind of hot if he was like i don't think like a femboy yeah. and he's like, like please <laughs> he's lived such a bad childhood yeah. okay um i'm gonna go with ragio kiroin uh she's from uh, no, shucks. Rats. It's actually a pretty good. <laughs> all right. So she's from a comic got kill. She's like the final bad gotcha. guy. Um, Sasuke Kiroin is like, everybody thinks that that's the bad guy for the majority of the show. And then has realized that these two characters are sisters and mm. both of their mothers is Ragyo Kiroin, who is like, uh, controls a monopoly over like the clothing industry, which is very important in uh, Kill La Kill. And she's just like evil. And the entire show is about like, basically, well, undressing her, but also destroying her. Interesting. A large part of Kill La Kill is we got to get that bitch naked. Yeah. That's the whole thing. How interesting. You know what? Side tangent. Mm -hmm. uh, Kill La Kill is one of the shows I'm live reacting to at Colossal Con. 
I was going to ask you if it's good it's so, or if it's I, react there's a, worthy. There's a reason I have a ta- It's one of my favorite animes of all time. It's so good. Wait, fuck. I always do this. What? Akame got kill. Akame got kill yeah. is the one you're live reacting to. Damn it. Also I, one of my favorite animes of all time. Oh, thank God. Then. Yeah. Nice. It's, also, it's probably the best 24 episode anime of all time. Wow. That's I crazy. would say it's up Wow. There. That's crazy. Yeah. It's really cool. big. Can I ask a question? Yes. You still have your fifth pick, by the way. I thought we're on four. That the ladies were our fourth pick. Got you. Yeah. This is five? This is, oh, wait, no, you're on your fourth pick. I'm on four. You're going to be on five. Gotcha. I so think. actually, yeah. So you don't have to do wait, a lady now. Hold on. You just I, did your third pick. I did. Your lady was your third pick because I went first. Okay. My lady was my fourth pick. I'll do another. Does it have to be Japanese? Explain. Like manhwa? Like American? Like American. I don't know. I think people will disqualify me if Are I do gonna... Ozai. No. No, I'll let it pass. Yeah. I like that pick a lot, actually. Yeah. I'm going to let that one fly. Bad dad never really redeemed. Also, <laughs> at all. genuinely, and this has, been a, this has been a topic flying around TikTok recently, yeah. a lot of people have been like, Ozai never really confirmed to be him. Like Ozai, like 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 Who him burned Zuko. No, 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 like him, like in the sense of like Ozai is incredibly powerful. Oh, like he's yeah. the Fire Lord, and obviously, yeah. like he beats Zuko and Agni Kai when he's yeah. like thirteen. But then he just gets destroyed by the Avatar, and then yeah. like the only person who like it's like oh the only person who's able to defeat him is Uncle Iroh. But like Uncle Iroh is always said to be as powerful as him. Yeah. So like everybody like when you're talking about most powerful Firebender of all time, that's why I say Iroh because like we never really see like Ozai be like the biggest baddest Firebender on Earth. You know what? Though a lot of people forget, it's not like Biden could kick my ass. You know what I mean? Like every anime runs on the logic and every fantasy thing runs on the logic of like the king or the big bad is also the best, strongest fighter ever. Like Biden has no combat skills. I, you know what I mean? I genuinely think I could fight 200 Joe Bidens. Yeah. I think I could fight more Joe Bidens than fourth graders. Really? Joe I, Biden's higher than your geese number? I think genuinely, <laughs> yeah, yeah, your geese no, number? I think I could take out more Joe, uh, no, Joe the problem is Biden's already plural. <laughs> Joe Bidenins. I could th- I could take out more Joe Bidens than fourth graders, genuinely. Because mm. here's the thing, a Joe Biden, like a fourth grader could get a sneak, <laughs> like a sneak shot to my nut. Yeah. There's no way those geriatric hands or either holding me down so or getting, getting my dick and balls. I think it'd be like like you're invincible, like the comic mm-hmm. book character. You're you're invincible, just punching through punching like through soft people. matter. He's <laughs> made of paper mache, like genuinely. <laughs> Glass book. Same with Trump. Yeah. I could kick a hole through that motherfucker's yeah. chest. Like I, like, yeah. Like I, once you hit eighty five, you don't have skin and bones anymore. But that's what I mean. Like yeah, it's not like like it's not like Ozai fought his way to be Fire Lord. He was mm-hmm. just born into it. Absolutely. It's just coincidental that he's kind of good at fighting. He's had his whole entire life to train to be a firebender. Yeah. That's the thing. Exactly. But the thing is, like, I think it's mostly predicated on the fact that like back in the day, like when humans were tribal, the strongest dude was in charge. Yeah. So it was like that's kind of where anime gets the idea. But yeah. I like that. I like that pick at four. Nice. All right, my last pick. Oh, this is a tough one. Here's the thing. There's a couple of dads that are like bad dads. Like they're not around. But like, I feel like going up like an absent father when there's so many abusive fathers yeah. is kind of tough, like tough. I'm going to go, oh man, I have so many good ones left on the board here. God, I knew this was going to be a problem. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go topical here. I'm going to go Rasa. I'm going to go Rasa fr- from the Kazakage, Gara's father. Oh, got you, yeah. got you. He is bad. He bad, sucks. Bad father. Yeah, Puts really sucks. Shukaku and Gara before he's even born, kills yeah. his mother, sends people to assassinate him. Not only sends people to assassinate him, sends yeah. the one person. His, like, that, favorite teacher. And then, like, basically, like, just like, oh, whoops, Gara killed him. I guess I'm going to keep trying to build him to be the perfect weapon. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. And then, like, at the end, like, when he gets reincarnated through Edo Tensei, like, they have, like, a somewhat, like, hey, we're, we're closer now moment, but like still an evil bastard. Yeah. That guy's cheeks for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Who's, who's your number five? Um, I'm going to go Ash's mom. Lady just Elaborate. Send, lady just sends her like 11 year old child across the world so that she could plow Professor Oak. No. And or Mr. Mime. I was about to goddamn say, you <laughs> know, she was getting Ash out of the house so she could get that. <laughs> she get that mime. Just so she could get absolutely mimed out the Dude, rear. <laughs> I Dude, I bet you Mr. Mime fucking 
yeah. <laughs> biggest dick on a Pokemon. <laughs> Go top five. Right? I, I would say, I would say, uh, Whalmer definitely. Whoa, good Whale, call. Whalmer's up there. Yeah, great uh, call. What's the what's the yo, one? That's yo, wait, can I counter? Kyogre. Yeah, yeah, baby. Kyogre. Uh, Rayquaza's definitely got a slong. Then again, they're all like, there's nothing hanging out. You know, yeah. right, but then they get well, Rayquaza. tracks, you know? Yeah, that's they're, fair. They're animals. Rayquaza. Deoxys, maybe? No, too small. Deoxys is a big fucking wiggly Tootsie Roll monster. But he's, but he's like six foot. Giratina, on the other hand, that's a cock. <laughs> yeah. That's a cock, absolutely. <laughs> he's the king of dark matter, this took, absolutely. This took a way crazier turn than I thought. Oh, well, I didn't think you were going to go like Arceus, like. No, once again, like, you, you yeah, want 12 foot? Animal. Why? No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You got to go big Pokemon yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And then I would say final number five, Mister Mime. Mister Mime's got a coil; like he literally has to wrap it. Like I could imagine yeah. it's a literal coil. Wow. Yeah. So it's you. You have one more. It's Kyogre, Rayquaza, Whalmer. Your Whalmer. Yeah, that's four. Oh. Kyogre, Rayquaza, Whalmer. Wait, and shit. Mister Mime. And then Mister Mime. That's four. Fuck. I know it's four. God damn it. Who else? Um. Oh, what's the lava one? The, oh, Groudon? Yeah, Groudon's probably up there. Wow. That or Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan. <laughs> Kangaskhan feels like a good Kangaskhan one. Kangaskhan is also like five feet tall. Yeah, but like, Things are dragging this fucking thing. I was just, it's under the pouch. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's under the pouch, absolutely. Because yeah. you know he fucks, he's got a kid. I saw a TikTok that was like, it was like, what team of Pokemon, like what team of five Pokemon would Ash have used to stop 9-11? <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I'll never be that funny. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never be that good at coming up that's with content. So fucking good. I was furious. Oh <laughs> like, my god, that's fucking genius. And then he's like, he like it's so straight laced. Like he's like, these are the top five Pokemon uh, Ash would use to stop 9-11. Number one, he's he's gonna bring Pikachu. He brings Pikachu everywhere. Naturally. Yeah, he's got Charizard with him. He's got to get up in the air somehow. I, Pikachu's riding Charizard. I wouldn't take Charizard. No, I take Rayquaza. I take a Are light- we choosing only well, Ash's Pokemon? Yeah, Ash's Pokemon. You can't fucking hit all the Emerald and Sapphire legendaries. I would bring like, well, no, Pikachu's lightning because you got to disable the plane. Lightning doesn't affect planes. It's not grounded. Excuse me. It doesn't. It, lightning goes straight through planes. So if a lightning bolt, it goes straight through planes, I've, I've, he says. I've, straight up, I've been on a plane <laughs> that was struck by lightning. It goes right through it because they're not grounded. They're not, they're not, they don't touch the ground. What? You- if I'm in the sky. Yes. And somehow I'm able to make lightning just keep hitting. Can I touch it? Well, so no. Well, okay. If you're not touching, if you were touching the outer shell of in a, like of a no, plane. No, if I'm like just flying. Yeah. You can, and I get hit by lightning. Planes what get happens? struck by lightning all the time. But what if I'm flying and I, I won't explode? Like. No. Wait, wait, what do you mean if you're flying? If I'm flying, literally. Like I'm. Like you. Yeah, you, me. No, you get fucked up. Oh. Yeah. Why not a plane? Because. It's you, metal? Yeah. Whoa. But as long as you're not touching the, the metal outer shell of the of yeah. the plane, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. But like if you if you touch an electrical fence while not touching the ground, yeah. it won't shock you until you touch the ground. Wow. But the voltage and amperage of lightning is so high that it, it'll still fuck you up. Crazy. Yeah, but I've been in a plane struck by lightning. It doesn't affect them. Have you seen it? Yeah. I was sitting in the window seat what on the wing. See? I was sitting in the window seat on the wing, yeah. looking out at because we're landing, we're coming into Ireland. Yeah. I just see lightning go through the wing. I was like, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I was, like, I'm, I was like, I'm dead immediately. It was so scary. Only the, I like, ironically, did the, pa- did the pilot come on? Like, uh, attention passengers, we've just hit a small bit of lightning. Please make sure to lock your seat trays. You know the fucking girl who's like, that motherfucker is not real. Have you not seen that? No. You haven't seen the woman on the plane? She's like, no. that? She, the, is that from oh, the Twilight Zone when the thing's so, hanging on the wing? Kind of, dude. Because the thing is, it's lightning. It happens yeah. so fast. I looked at my mom who's sitting next to me. I was like, yeah. Did you, did, you, did you see that? And she was like, no, what are you talking about? And you can't be like, look, it's there. It's gone. Yeah. It's lightning. It was, wow. oh my God, it was wild, man. Whoa. The second closest I've been to lightning. Yeah, what was the first? I was sitting in my college apartment, sitting on a couch in our living room. Our living room, like our living room, there's a window to our driveway, which goes past. Lightning hit the driveway. Jeez. Like two to three feet away from me. Whoa. Did I it sh- just like glass your whole driveway? Like-, like it was like, it was, so we lived on a hill. It was raining just fucking right on the driveway, like wow. three and a half feet from us. Crazy. It was nuts. But does it like leave a mark? No, it didn't. It did on our driveway. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I guess asphalt's like kind of a rubber, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Well, I mean like if they make it out of like recycled tires. Gotcha. Okay. Your fifth pick. Oh, 
we're doing a thing. You so. did Ozai, it's right? It's Ash's mom. Oh, Ash's mom. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's it. Okay, that's it. Right there. Anyway, leaves her kid to just get ass blasted so just, by a just, mime. Just, just <laughs> Listen, he doesn't have to use words to explain what yeah. he did to Ash's mother. By a all right? fucking mime. Thank, <laughs> like, you know what's clear. terrifying about that too is mm-hmm. Mr. Mime's abilities allow him to mime something, and it exists. Magic room. But he's just, one magic room. Yep. Two. Imagine he's just like doing something with his hands. She's like, okay, okay, what's <sighs> What you got there, Mr. Mime? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's in me! He's in me! It's moving! Why is it moving? It's pronged! <laughs> you know, like just some invisible nightmare dildo is yeah. coming up in you. <laughs> He did. All right. So yeah, I don't know. Vote on vote on who wins. Do you want to do homework on it or no? Do you feel confident enough? Um, we could do homework. You want to do homework on it? Yeah, I'll be traveling, but oh, I, then yeah, well, no, you got you got she got shit going on. Yeah. No homework on it, but I don't know. Tell us tell us who wins in the comments below. All right. Uh, my flashback. Yeah. Naruto was supposed to get four new episodes September third. Yeah. yeah. Not anymore. What happened? What delayed. do you mean? What happened? Delayed indefinitely. Oh, they were like, so what happened was they were like. A bunch of people's TV guides leaked, and they were like, everyone, like, leaks came out on Twitter yeah. where everyone was like, their episodes are going to be an hour long. Of it's going to TV guides. Well, so no, no, it was like before that, everyone right. was like, the episode's going to be, each is going to be an hour long. Yeah. Each is going to be a review. Uh, it's going to be like reanimations of the tuning exams, Sasuke retrieval arc, uh, Naruto versus Nagato, and Itachi versus Sasuke. Nice. And everyone was like, oh my God, this is going to be so dope. And then, TV guides in Japan because you can see like what's going to come out like a week. It's like when you're on like scrolling through TNT or something mm-hmm. and you're like, I got to find out when the next time like Thousand Ways to Die is going to come on or like, you know, shit like that. No, no, like, yeah, when, sure. When I would look for like Ultimate Warrior, yeah, like yeah. I was like, I got to, I got to, I can't miss it. I like how the only shows you know are Spike TV shows. That's the, only, that's the last time I watched cable, man. That was, that, that, that's how long ago yeah, cable yeah, was. Yeah, you to know, me. Let, hold on, let me throw in some more relatable uh, topics. Like, you know, when you're scrolling through your next episode of Mansers. That's exactly where my brain was gonna go, you motherfucker. You, I know you love Mansers. So it like comes out like a week prior. So everybody, everyone scrolls to when, like September yeah. 3rd, and they see Naruto 20th anniversary first episode, and it's from 5 30 to 6. Yeah. So not an hour long. Yeah. So the, the hour long thing is the dead, like dead in the water. So now everyone's like, well, what the fuck are they gonna accomplish with 22 episodes, like 22 minutes, four yeah. episodes? It's an hour and 20 minutes of content. What does that give us? What does yeah. that gives us next to nothing? So are they reeling it in now to like double the length? Dude, that's my thing. So we, no one knows. They, so what they officially have stated is like, so this comes out on the 28th. Everyone finds out because it's, oh, so it's the third, seven days prior. Everyone finds out the episodes are a half hour long, but leaks are rampant in America, Japan, everywhere. Be like, these are an hour long. They're reanimations. So the 28th, everyone's like, what the fuck? Fuck. And everyone's starting to realize it's probably just going to be four non-canon episodes where it's just like Naruto and Sasuke trying to catch a cat for four episodes. Yeah. And everyone's like, no. Everyone's yeah. like, you gave us the reanimation thing, like the 10 minute episode, like the 10 minute video, like a year ago. Yeah. And there's like, it's supposed to be a celebration of the 20th anniversary. Why would you give us non-canon episodes? So everyone's freaking the fuck out. And I think on the 29th, they were like, we cannot release these episodes while temper- like temperatures are this high. Let's just say- that like the quality is not good and we're not going to release it. So it's been indefinitely delayed, but at the same wow. time, also studio Periot might just be fucking drowning because Jeez. like Boruto went on hiatus, like five months ago, like the anime went on hiatus. And then like, obviously there was a time skip. Now there's a time skip. We're in two blue vortex. We have no official data when the anime is coming back. Everyone was like, Oh, it's coming back in October. Cause it'll take place. Like this is going to be like the four episodes will quench our thirst for Naruto content. And then I'll bring us into October. And then like, boom, Borto's back. We're all happy. Yeah. No officials like date when we're getting the anime back. Nothing like that. So I think Studio Period is just like drowning in content. Crazy. And yeah. they're just working on Naruto and Boruto and Thousand Year Blood Work. Oh, that yeah. can do it then. That's like yeah. it looks gorgeous. Yeah. So yeah. I think like their A team is working on like Thousand Year Blood Work, and they're like, I don't know, like get like the dregs to try and figure out Naruto and yeah. Boruto, and they're like, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. So uh-huh. now like they got like it was like the 29th this got released. So they were what? six days before the release. And they're like, yeah, it's not going to happen. But it's so coincidental that on the 28th, people found out it's going to be a half hour long. Social media freaks out next day. They're like, you know, no, I I mean, I, um, I, I just fear that that's like wishful thinking Mm -hmm. because it's so rare. Like that would be sick, but it's so rare that like companies are ever that cool. And that like fan forward. Yeah. Yeah. Or that in touch that they'd be like, Oh man, people aren't gonna like these. Like people haven't liked anything Boruto or Naruto had been doing 
for like six years. Yeah, for years. Actually, before that, people people hated the say, walk. Yeah, like a decade. 20, 2013, 2014 was the last yeah. time people were like genuinely like everyone was like Naruto good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like people haven't. And, like, the studios haven't, like, done anything different. They haven't made it seasons. Everyone wants it in seasons. Everybody like, wants it seasonal. And it's, like, I just don't buy, especially them. Like, if it was, like, UFO Table, mm. because they're, like, one of the only studios I've seen doing, like, interviews and shit and, like, mm. talking about their animation. MAPA does it. MAPA does they it, They ship too. that fucking CEO out to every event. <laughs> True, but they're also, like evil yeah but like but i like yeah i don't know maybe mapa would if their finances are affected but also no because and not even mapa because everyone has hated attack on titans animation yeah they've had years to change it and they mm -hmm. don't but like it, apparently that's coming out soonish too by the season yeah the four, last one's like january three right? no. part two yeah I don't, is it the last one yeah i because who never knows i don't think it is i, I think so I, it's I, supposed I, to be I don't know. But anyway, like, a Studio Periot over anyone I don't buy would be like, oh, pe people aren't liking this idea. We should scrap those four episodes, make the equivalent of eight more. That's my thing. Because that's the thing that everyone's like, oh, like a lot of people are taking it. It's like, oh, they're probably going to make the episodes an hour long. And I was like, if it was a non-canon arc, how the fuck would they extend it yeah. for another double the time? Yeah. And if it's a reanimation, the reanimation is made specifically to fit within 22 minutes. So it's like, it's not getting longer. Yeah. It's just like either they were like, that's a lot of negative press or this literally looks like shit. It. Yeah. And Either way, not good. That's just that's like one, not how companies behave. Yeah. Two, definitely not how Japanese companies behave. No. Japanese companies have only recently, like even game companies have only recently started like interacting with fans yeah. and stuff. Like for years, Japanese game developers have like not really kept in touch with the community. No. And only recently they're like like some video game like head game directors are like releasing patch notes and like doing like Q and A's with the community. Yeah. And a lot of them will be like, have started leaking or not leaking, but being like, yeah, like, you know, people want, I know a lot of people want like finishing moves added to guilty gear. Yeah. Our studio wants to do that. The like publishers won't let us. That's just not how it works. Gotcha. Like a lot of developers have been like, yeah, like our publishers won't let us do that. And mm -hmm. it's like, damn, they, we don't usually hear that. Yeah. Like, it's like nice to get like an actual, like, why are we not getting mm -hmm. this thing? Is Ubisoft Japanese? No, Ubisoft is like very French. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Cause like Ubisoft is like the king of being like, <laughs> well, that's true. But yeah. Like, they're like, yeah, yeah. they but, do not talk to us at all. Yeah. It's like, yeah. A lot of publishers just like, don't care about like the transparency, like between game devs and fans. Like yeah. they're just like, just make the game and then make the money. Like what, what do you need to talk to these nerds for? Absolutely. Uh, and then do you have flashback? You have news? I have news. Oh yeah. Um, you remember my fucking... So I had the boy and the heron earn 7.4 billion yen, which oh, is kind of related. Scared the shit out of me there for a second. I was like, the biggest movie ever? Well, 7.4 billion yen, I believe, is, is $21 billion in America. No. Yeah, it is. 7.4 billion yen. Yeah, it's $21 billion. Billion with a B. Yeah. No. <laughs> I know. No. I know. You didn't. You weren't playing along funny enough. Yeah, okay. So I <laughs> I like, dropped it. I was like, yeah, no. It's like every person in Japan saw it six times. I wrote this down and I was like, what if I told Nick this was $21 billion? <laughs> <laughs> you played too straight. I know. But um, uh, actual other news. You remember that manga I really liked the first volume of The Night and the Witch Will Survive? Yeah. The third volume is set to release in October. Gotcha. And it's going to be the last volume. I'm devastated. They were just like, yep, we're done. They're just like, it's done. Either that or it's like not doing well mm -hmm. sales wise. Dude, that's the thing. That's the thing with finding these new manga. Yeah. You're like, nice. Most of them get canceled within five, five chapters. I didn't know that. Yeah. I saw on Reddit, like, cause I was looking like recently I was looking up like, oh, what's good new manga? Mm. Cause no one's like reviewing new manga, which it seems like a weird. That's fair like whole it or like a what do you call that like a missing market or yeah. something like that like a, like a yeah exactly yeah seems weird no one reviews new mm. manga because I, i'm always like 
looking for new manga. Yeah, new Rex. Yeah, there's nothing nothing to find out about it. But now anyway, you know why, because I guess so. if you pick up a manga before chapter 10, there is a 50-50 chance it doesn't get to chapter 10. Well, that's the other thing, too, is that it's like rarely do manga get good yeah. before like chapter 30. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I was on Reddit and I was like, what are some good new manga? And people are like, don't even bother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, don't, don't bother until it's a hundred chapters in. Genuinely. Like, like after, I think my hard cap is chapter 30. Yeah. If it makes it to chapter 30, I'm like, okay. Like if it makes it weekly for 30 weeks, like, okay, it's going to stick around. Mm-hmm. But like, if it's like, I'm reading wild strawberry right now and Jonah and jump, which is like this really good, like post-apocalyptic, like, Basically, like, Tokyo's been taken over by plants that, like, yeah. like consume people. And it's kind of like a COVID spinoff thing where it's like, oh, mm. it's, like, it's spreadable and all that. The art's great. It's really good. Yeah. And, but, like, I, like I'm i not getting too connected to it because I'm like, there's a 50-50 chance I yeah. never finish the story. Yeah. You just yeah. have to, you have to know. I know, that's brutal. It sucks, man. All right, that brings us to this part of the show, which is known as Love Letters. And in this part of the show, me and Danny pull our live audience who get to watch the podcast live and see all of our possibly cut bits. And, you know, me and Danny fumble through making a podcast. Uh, but more than anything, they get to ask us a question. And that question gets answered live on the podcast. So if you guys want to watch the podcast live, you can become a YouTube member for either $4.99 or $5.99 a month and become either Team Nick or Team Danny. Great way to support us. Great way to interact with us because not only do we gather questions, but we also hang out after the podcast to talk to you guys. So, Danny, questions. Salad Skies asks, what's your favorite anime plot twist? Do you have one? I absolutely do. Oh, yeah? Give it to me. Okay. Wait, spoiler for what? Naruto. Okay. I think I think we could work yeah, with that probably. That's fine. Uh, favorite plot twist. Yeah. Uh, Itachi isn't a bad guy. Itachi being a good guy who had to like assassinate the entirety of his clan in order to save Sasuke was... Awesome, especially when we've been building up for over like 500 episodes that Itachi is this absolutely insane madman who cut down an entire clan for like, what? We don't really know. And realizing that the entirety of the blame is to go to Donzo is really cool. But at the same time, a lot of people commit to this theory that like Itachi was supposed to be bad and Kishimoto retconned that because there's a lot of things that Itachi does like to Sasuke that are just straight up evil. <laughs> just unnecessarily mean. Like unnecess- like, he, like when Itachi first kills Sasuke's parents, Sasuke's like, time to head back to town. Yeah. And then Itachi sees him and is like, Sukiyomi. And then it's like, <laughs> has him live through him cutting down his parents for 72 <laughs> hours. And you would think, oh, yeah. seeing your parents die for 72 hours, that's pretty bad. Does it to him again. Like when he shows up after yeah. Hiruzen's death in the village, which is we learn later is to like show Don so that he's still alive. And like, if you lay your hands on Sasuke, I'll kill you. During that, apparently, like when Sasuke tries to hit him with Chidori, he grabs him by the throat and is like, you want to see him die again? <laughs> then puts him in, in Sukiyomi again. I was going to say anything revolving around Sukiyomi is pretty strong evidence to be like, not a good guy. Not chill. Yeah. Like, hey, you want to live in a torturous existence for 72 hours where I control the entirety of your reality? Yeah. How okay. does he, how, like, how does that not make him the strongest person alive? Uh, okay, this. Uh, or you can, like, break Genjutsu, right? If you're good enough. No, no you can't break Sukiyomi. I'm, so the, the problem with Sukiyomi is that it happens so fast, you don't have time to break him. It happens, right. it's so, something like, uh, it's like a hundred years. So he, once lived 80 years in a light novel with his girlfriend and it happened in like less than a second. Right. So like you wouldn't be able to identify that you were under Genjutsu fast enough to break out of Tsukiyomi. And what's crazy is that Tsukiyomi was so powerful that it killed his girlfriend. So like in that light novel, it's confirmed that Itachi can just play, like have people live out an entire life and then have them live to old age in that entire life. And when they die of old age in that universe, which happens in less than a second, they die in reality. Oh, so, damn. Like, it is. Then it's, yeah, fucking kill people all the time. It, and he might, we just don't yeah. know. He's like, he's off screen for the majority of the right. show. Interesting. Yeah. Your favorite plot twist. I think my favorite plot twist is probably, I think my favorite plot twist is probably the eclipse in Berserk. <sighs> Because it's like so fucked. The it's so fucked, which is so good. Yeah. Here's my only problem with it, though. Mm-hmm. It's that the first three volumes of Berserk kind of ruin it. Because like the plot twist would be so much better without the first three. Or no? Because we yes. start ahead of the eclipse. Yeah. Because yeah, because it's like you know that there's like ghouls and goblins in Berserk world. Yeah. But if you start with Guts as a child and like he just like grows up, he's doing all this night stuff, all this medieval shenanigans, and then 
you get to like you get to him having the little what's it called like behemoth or something mm-hmm. um the little like uh item and it's like oh what is this weird little like keychain face yeah. and like oh my god it's eyes open and it's bleeding out of its eyes what the hell it's just like magic yeah and then it just hits you with the eclipse what a better twist because berserk literally opens with guts fucking a monster yeah and you're like oh this world is bad yeah this world has it's always been bad and then you realize like okay it hasn't always you go back in time a little bit you're like okay the world hasn't always been bad but like yeah. there has to be a moment when the world just got ridiculous i wish uh, yeah i wish it like just tricked you into thinking it was just strict like realistic mm-hmm. fiction and then, like, they have some monsters sprinkled in. Like, there's a big Yeti, which I hate and should be taken out. Mm. And, like, Zod. Because of his penis. Because of his penis tongue. <laughs> but he also is just, like, like the Golden Age arc has some just, like, lingering that doesn't need to happen. Like, it could be crushed down by, like, two volumes. Oh, absolutely. Um, And, like, Zod, if they don't have him turn into, like, a big horned monster, then that would keep up with the facade, too. I would love if it just hits you, like cold turkey with the fucking eclipse yeah i think that'd be great but yeah well good answers so thank you guys so much and that and that is the show thank you guys for checking in this week thanks for telling us we had good answers yeah good answers (laughs) you and me yeah good answers all around absolutely thank you guys so much for checking in this week uh make sure if you haven't heard already danny is going to colossal con uh by the time that this is out oh you might already be no no no, no, i won't it's next week yeah next it will be like in a week from when this releases. How many people have you confirmed are going? Over a hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. I've confirmed are going. Um, but I don't. So I my pa- no. Listen, I don't want. I don't want to. I, <laughs> Not like for me. I just know they're going. Going to Colossal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. On like I did a. You better fucking show up to I, your shit. I did a YouTube poll and I was like, who's going? And like five thousand people said. Or voted, seven percent said they were going. I mean, and that's like it's roughly four. Philadelphia, like it's like there's it's in a, Pennsylvania. That's the same. It's thing. not Philadelphia. Philadelphia is not a state. My God, you're like Charlie Kelly. I know it's um, all the same place. But like, so uh, on Thursday, I'll be reacting to either Parasite or Akame Ga Kill. They, what they keeping you in the dark? Well, I don't know which day I'm doing it. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, that. Parasite or Akame Got Kill is Thursday, and then whichever one I did on Thursday, the other one I'm doing Friday. Gotcha. Saturday, I'm hosting a panel with uh, the voice actor of, um, who's the fucking love interest in Cyberpunk Edge Runners? Lucy. Lucy. Yeah. Yeah, Lucy will be in it. A um, few other voice actors, Mr. Crocker from Timmy Turner. Oh my God, no yeah. way. He'll be there, which is hype. Um, and then, yeah, and then Sunday, I just, chill and make an appearance fee nice yeah oh, look at you yeah grabbing that bag Raking um, it i may not be going to anime oic uh because oh, not anymore yeah well i don't know i just got a text and i was like he was like oh you still want he was like so you're not going on your own right i was like i live in los angeles i'm not flying to new york for a fucking mm. con and he was like oh I'll ask. I'll let you know. And that was like a week ago and I haven't heard anything. So look, I'm hoping I'm going to NYC. Uh, it's not till November, so we've got lots of time to plan it if you want to come see me there. But more than anything, guys, make sure you follow us on all the other platforms. I realized, you know you know how there was the Noodle Shop podcast before it got canceled? They made a new podcast. And it's called Steak and Eggs Podcast. Uh-huh. And it's got 11.2 thousand followers on Instagram. We have 10K. That's like, there's... There's three, there's three, hey, there's three YouTubers on that, on that uh, podcast. One has 700,000. Another's over, another's over a million. And I think the other also has 700,000. We have almost the same amount. We have more likes than them on Instagram. <laughs> so you guys are doing a great job following us on Instagram, but you know, keep doing that. Keep following us on TikTok. Oh my God. That. Wait, what? We have 10K we have followers 10K on Instagram. on Instagram. That's so much. Isn't that wild? That's huge. I know. That's sick. Yeah, we do like 300 likes nice. on all of our posts. It's crazy. Uh, and yeah, I mean, follow us here. Uh, become a YouTube member if you want to hang out with us before and after pods and also get yeah questions answered uh i've been nick also known as the weeb commander and yeah goodbye yeah and i've been danny but also goodbye bye and now for my next number i'd like to return to the platform